Good morning, welcome along to the Racky Races here on Wednesday at the Motors Super Series, where by the end of the day, we're gonna find out our first player through two finals night. It was a terrific Tuesday here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth, and Wednesday, we're gonna see some Racky Races towards the line. This is what happened yesterday. Then it's, oh, I'm coming out from the PA pool. Scott Winder was winless on day two. He'll be hoping to string some good performances together ahead of a Group C stint. Meanwhile, for Jerry Hendricks, on the other hand, he's steadily getting back to levels he would have hoped for. Bayer Van Pier won four out of five yesterday to move him on to 12 points and into position as far as qualification is concerned. The group may have hinged on this, a 1.16 checkout from Robert Thornton to save his skin against Adam Hunt before then completing a comeback victory against the league leader. That was after Hunt missed double 12 to get the game won. As far as big outs are concerned, none were bigger than this 1 3 6 for Thibaut Tracol to seal a 4 3 victory from 3 0 down against Barry Van Peer. Yeah, it was a day of big twists, days of big turns here at the Super Series. Loud and clear alongside me here up here on the balcony is Glenn Darwin. Glenn, interesting day yesterday, full of twists. Full of turns from dart one to the last. Yeah, we had, had a feeling it was going to be a very competitive group, didn't we? So it was no surprise. And um, I think you've got three happy players in the top four. I think the only disappointed one, even looking at that highlight role there, was Adam Hunt. I think he was slightly disappointed. He could have had a lead, a better lead going into today, but all to play for. Right, let's have a look at the table then, following the conclusion of our second day's action here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth as the action hots up. Right, let's have a look at the table. Adam Hunt at the top of it alongside Thibaut Tricol, both on 14 points. But Thornton and Van Peer, who face off in their first game of the session, they're both on 12. They're both very interested parties. Yeah, that's, a, that's an excellent opening game, isn't it, to, to sort of decide what's going to happen today. I think Adam Hunt, it's worked out well for him. He's got Scott Winder in his first game and plays three times in the first seven. So he can really sort of lay down a foundation for today. So I think the draw's actually gone quite well for Adam Hunt. Um, but yeah, some really exciting games today and one not to miss. Let's begin by talking about uh, Thibaut Tricol then, because as far as yesterday's concerned, he was the king of the four frees. He was the king of winning games tight. And on a day like this where the table is going to be, well, it's going to be one straight for the line. How important is it going to be to come up clutch in those moments? He's good at that. It's, it's not by coincidence either. Henry is... Uh, you know, people have certain characteristics and he's a good match player. He likes to be involved in a scrap. He does have an A game, but he certainly knows how to win that B game and it's a good attribute to have. And uh, if it gets tight, then Thibault will end up top of the table. But you've got some players there with real flair and real brilliance and we could see some real big averages, like the opening one with Barry Van Peer yesterday. Maybe consistency is the key today. What been your assessment of Berry's day yesterday? One four from five, but you were saying afterwards that you weren't overly happy with his with the reactions on stage. Yeah, he's just a little bit. I'd like to see a little bit more from him. I'm, I mean, talking about one of the guys who played darts and was very. Um, Dower on the stage, so he's me trying to give, uh, but just looking to make players certain better. He's one of the best players in the world, you know, on, on the uh, on the amateur circuit, and you know, it's no surprise to see him flying high at the Challenge Tour. But you're looking at one percent, two percent to try and get these players better, and that's an area I'd certainly work for him. But some player. Are we very quick to maybe overwrite Robert Thornton, a player of his calibre, a player of his pedigree? Definitely not. You know, it's Robert Thornton we haven't spoken an awful lot about, and that's testament to him that he's only two points behind the lead. So uh, that just shows exactly where Robert Thornton... I think them top four players, one of them can go through the card. Adam Hunt did it on Monday. Barry Van Pee was so close. Thibault's been so close. Um, and I think the winner today is the one who runs through the card today. But there'll be lots of twists and turns. Can't wait for it to start. Most certainly. Well, let's have a look at the outright betting then ahead of today's session. And, well, not many times on day three of a group is the player in fourth position on it 
the bookmaker's favourite to win it. Yeah, that's that's an incredible set of uh, statistics there. And, uh, you know, the betting patterns are the fact that Berry Van Peer is... You know, was the hot favourite going into the competition. Um, Robert Thornton, as I spoke about, has got to come out the traps very soon. That opening game with Tebow will be massive. Uh, but I do like the price here of Adam Hunt, that's for sure. I think he was he showed some real brilliance at times and really should have been two points clear going overnight. Did he tighten up? Is he going to tighten up today? So many questions to be answered. Most certainly right. So from the outrights to the bet builder, this page just over four and a half to one today. These are amalgamation of bets that have been making its way through the exchanges and we put it into a handy little acker for you. Right, we've got Adam in the... 1.5 legs handicap category against Scott Ryan at 1 to 2. Robert Thornton, the same in the handicap against Jerry Hendricks. And then in the match, 180 stakes between Hunt and Thornton over 1.5, 180s. Yeah, I mean, the opening couple of bets there, what they're saying is Hendricks and Winder are slightly less than the, the other four players, what they're saying there. But, you know, Scott Winder, is, he's had an interesting group here. That's, that's, you know, for sure, he's been a good debut. He's a good scorer. I'd just like to see a little bit more composure from Scott, especially when he's down to a finish. And that's something I'd try and uh, work on the game for him. It seems very rushed when he gets down to them chances. But he's a big scorer. Uh, and as every chance, he could be a real spoiler today. So, game one of the day sees Tiba Tricor take on Jerry Hendricks. And for Tiba, the opportunity to really set the tone for the day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, great player. I mean, like I said, you, you just really want to come out the traps quickly. And, uh, you know, they, they've got the opportunities to do that. Right, should be some day, shouldn't it? I honestly seriously can't wait, and uh, we're struggling to pick a winner. It's a four-horse race. You know, take your pick. So why don't you enjoy your day, have a nice cup of tea, cup of coffee, maybe enjoy a day working from home whilst the boss doesn't know you're watching this, and enjoy a day of darts here at the Super Series. Glenn Dunn's going to make kids way down to the country box to describe all the action in the company of Chris Murphy. Morning, Chris. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, everybody. And it is indeed the running in Group A, meaning one player will make it through to finals night on Saturday. Will it be this man, Thibaut Tricol, 33-year-old from France, former Lakeside World finalist? It won't be this man, Jerry Hendricks. He's going to have to persevere and play on Thursday and Friday. The Dutchman sits on six points in Group A. Won't be Paul Nicholson either. But Jerry Hendricks looking to be a bit of a spoiler here. Take Thibaut Trecol to a... First leg, it's Thibaut to throw first. Game on! Or through, I should I say. Difficult match. He had some very good games yesterday and was looking set to win all of his matches. 100. Uh, but he lost right at the end of the day. Thibaut Tricol to Jerry Hendricks 26. when he beat him 4-3. Can he do that again? We will find out. One hundred. Eighty-three. And Glenn Durant has made his way down from the balcony where he was chatting to Henry. Yeah, interesting point that you made up there, that Barry Van Peer is favourite. But Thibaut Trico, if he has a day like yesterday, then he will very much fancy his chances. Yeah, and I was looking at the, the way the draws come out. Thibaut's got a good chance against Jerry Hendricks. I think what the assessment is that Jerry 100. and Scott Winder are maybe a dart behind the other four. So I was assessing how it's come out the draw. And Thibaut's got a good chance as he looks at this 1-6-1. Didn't even consider 99. it. 99. I think if you're going to go that way, the bullseye is not a bad shout on the last one there, but he's in total control. So he can really lay a marker down and he's come out the traps beautifully well here. 42. I think Three Adam Hunt 62. has a good chance too. As we look at Tebow for the first leg, he looked at treble 10. The double 16, this is a lovely start. Game shot on the first 14 leg. data to Tebow boot. Trico. If someone is going to lay a foundation, that's exactly what you need to do because I don't think we've seen the brilliant best from Tebow Trico. This so week, Jerry to throw first. But sometimes it's all about peaking at the right time, and he can continue with that trend. He looks totally focused as he stood behind Jerry Hendricks there. Hey, it's think fine. We all realise the importance of topping this group because it it will hold some credit going into Saturday night as well because it was such a tough group here. Hey, it's five. Yeah, Tebow looks good today.
A reminder, it will be Treacle, Hunt, Thornton or Van Pier that makes it through to finals night on Saturday. Next match is Robert Thornton against Berry Van Pier. Is that a game which decides which one of them will challenge? Yeah, I think, like I said, I think Treacle's wins. E3. Table's got the chance of laying the marker down today. I think Adam Hunt's got three games in the first seven. So he's got an opportunity to really get the points on the board. He opens up against Scott Winder first. 42. But for me, the real highlight was Robert Thornton against Barry Van Pia first game there. And I think the winner of that game will fancy their chances, not only topping the group, but even running through the card. That's 100. a real blockbuster. Well, Trickle is not struggling at the moment against Jerry Hendricks. He's the one who's really... Made a sloppy 41. start to Wednesday's play. Must be difficult knowing you're not in the battle and it's very likely that he knows his destination is going to be Group C. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of ways to look at it. I think hey, T3. You know, maybe all the nerves are gone. You can just go out and try and play your best darts. But this, this has been a very poor start from Jerry. That's been a mixture of Tebow starting well and hey, T7. Jerry a, a nightmare. Just the one score of a ton so far. This for 2 0. 74. Good attempt. And it probably still will be 2 0 because Jerry Hendricks is a long, long way behind, not even on the same stretch of motorway at the moment. 60. To be his foot down on the gas. Yeah, he throws that dad an awful lot of movement with the fingers. If you would just watch that as he gets it out, doesn't go for the double nine. Game shot on the second to the Frenchman. It's a lovely start. Trinkle. Exactly what you need. And to have the the breathing space to to split mid visit, Glenn, just shows how much so better he's playing than Jerry Hendricks Game. in this match. He's actually averaging thirty four points more than the Dutchman. It'll be more than that now. One hundred and forty. He's played on the you know the high stage. He's won big tournaments, Tibor, and. Like I said, I think in the first two days, he was just winning with his B game. So Four, many 4 threes, but that's not by accident, that Chris. He's just good. At, he's just one of them players. He's always biting at your ankles, and then you start to panic, and he starts producing darts like this. This is a... one. what the doctor ordered. I don't know what Terry Hendricks has had for breakfast, but he won't be having it again. 26. This is shocking by his standards. Only one throw in the entire match as he scored 100 or more. Uh, and he has such a big role to play today with Scott Winder, what we call the spoiler role, if they can beat one of them big four. So every time that Jerry gets up there and 58. Scott, the other players 161. in the top four will be cheering for them, but I think they can put the scarps away on this one. 65. Takes off the five. He can do whatever he wants in this match, Tebow Treacle. He's not got an opposition. 45. It's like any... To be required, 96. Decent football team playing someone like Middlesbrough, then, isn't it? They're just non-existent. Four minutes, 12 seconds, and at me already. Unbelievable. 56. I mean, I can't really speak with my allegiances, but... I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so unprofessional to, <laughs> to mention Sheffield Wednesday. But 81. we could do with a player score and a hat-trick and Tebow's a chance to go 3-0 up. Game shot in the third That's, He does. Tebow Trico. This has been so one-sided on a day where the permutations will be changing, there'll well, be ups, Jerry there'll be downs, first. there'll be winners, Game there'll be losers. This is the perfect start for Tebow Trico. Yeah, electric Jerry Hendricks has not powered on yet. 83. Managed to force that dart through, but he'll be dusting himself down, ready for a game four darting duel with Robert Thornton. 60. Yeah, I mean, I've yet to experience the Motor Super Series as a player, so I don't know how Jerry goes back. I mean, looking at his average right now, from where Jerry's played in the 68. game, albeit the fact that he hasn't been... Playing as much of recent, but he'll be, he'll be embarrassed going back. 74. 
100. Only a second score of a ton. And it is 100 ahead in this leg. I mean, trying to just give some sort of defence for Jeremy. 100. Ted Tebow could switch off in this scenario. That's the only possible saving grace, but I'm clutching at straws. 33. Well, he's got nowhere near finishing a leg yet, Jerry Hendricks. This is his best won. chance by far. Three call, not on a finish after 12. Can the Dutchman finally, finally join the party? 139. 125. Jerry requires 78. For his first leg of the day, he'll look at treble 18. Can he stay straight in the 20s? He can for his first dart at a double. Fifty-eight. Timmy requires sixty-one. So then, to complete an early morning bagel. He's having to step across slightly to make the adjustment, but he can't find it. So Hendrix, he gets Jimmy pumped up. He's 20. ready. Well, here comes the greatest comeback we've ever witnessed. Yeah, we did see a three-nil to four-three yesterday. From Tree Cole. Well, it happened to him. This would be a real resurrection, wouldn't it, if Hendricks were to hit this double and then go on and win the game? I think hitting the double alone. Ten. Just not to be a game Jerry Hendricks will to want to forget. 18. And for Tree Cole to go two points clear at the top, it's two double eight. And it's Game a whitewash win for the Frenchman. The a comfortable Tebow start to the day. Tebow is the first player to move on to 16 points. Next up, um...
Welcome back to the Moda Super Series. Where before the break, Tiba Dracol laid down the gauntlet for the rest to follow a destructive 4 0 victory against Jerry Hendricks to kick off his action on Wednesday. Next up for us, Robert Thornton up against Bay Van Pier. Both players on 12 points at the start of the day. Both players two points behind the co leaders. Third and fourth, respectively, as play got underway. But both will very much feel they are in the mix. Both also know how to get through a Group A campaign. And only one this morning, Chris Murphy caught up with both players to assess their thoughts ahead of today's action. Hey, just sum up how your week's gone so far. I think, all in all, it's been a weird week. I mean, played all right Monday. Tuesday was kind of... I don't know, it was an unusual day for everybody, but I looked at it and I looked back at it and I thought, I won games I shouldn't have won. And other people were winning games they, shouldn't, they should never have won. But all in all, it's kind of worked out all right for me. You've got a big game first up with Berry Van Peer, both of you on 12 points. Do you feel that's going to be crucial if you're going to try and, and top this group? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you want to go out there and win every game anyway, but you need to go out and win your first one. And being here at the Super Series again, um, still trying to get to that Champions Week, how much of an ambition is it for you to, to get there and win one of these weeks here? I want to do it now. It's getting, uh, it's getting ridiculous. I mean, this is my eighth time here. And I, I reach finals night. And it just doesn't seem to be happening on Saturday night. Well, good luck today. Well, I'll do my best. Cheers, mate. Berry, last day in Group A, a chance to make it through to finals night. How do you fancy your chances? Um, fancy them uh, all right. Uh, it's a very close group at the moment, so uh, I think everyone has a good chance to get through. Um, but if I feel good, like I started well yesterday, but I kind of ended up really bad from a feeling. So if I can just keep going in a good way, I think I'll have a good chance. Still won four out of five yesterday, so if you think you didn't play that well towards the end of it, that must be a good thing in a way. Yeah, I could have gone five out of five, but uh, Thibaut had to ruin the party with a one three six, which was too bad for me. But I missed a few match starts. Uh, but it's still a good feeling, four out of five. Um, maybe if I go the same with today, uh, might have a good chance to get through. But maybe not, because I'm still two points behind. So we'll have to see what that. There's a big match actually first up. You and Robert Thornton are both two points behind Thibaut and Adam. Do you think that's going to be whoever wins that game is going to be the challenger in this group? Possibly, yes. Um, it still depends on all the other results as well from Adam and uh, Thibault. Um, but yeah, it's it's a tough match anyway. Um, if you win it, you get ahead and you just have to see. It's, if you, Even if you lose, it's not the end of the world. You, you will probably have to win four out of five anyway. So. Well, we'll look forward to it. Good luck. Thank you very much. Yeah, here we go. Robert Thornton and Barry Van Peer, as we heard there. Both know the importance of this match. And Pia made the bookies favourite despite being two points adrift. Now four points adrift after that opening win for Thibaut Treacle. He beat Jerry Hendricks 4-0 in the first fixture of the morning. And he faces the Thorn, the salt coat slinger, two times world seniors champion among many other honours achieved in this sport. And Pia may need to win this match, Glenn, to have a chance of living up to that billing as first the bookmaker's favourite. First, it's Robert favorite. to throw first. Yeah, he hasn't Game looked on. super motivated for me. It's as if... Um, I wouldn't... Maybe I'm not getting the right words, but I would just like to see him come to life and Ooh, spark a little 34. bit. And you could say a little bit about Robert Thornton, where he's been nowhere near his... Absolute brilliant best, but he was two points behind overnight. And one hundred and thirty four. I, I was in the corner of Robert Thornton. and I'd, I'd have been delighted with the situation. But you can just tell, even with the three darts from the pair of them so far, that you can just sense today is going to be a fantastic hey, day. You just sense that we're going to see so many twists and turns. It's going to be. And I can't pick a winner. That's for sure. Ninety seven. Fifty-eight. Yeah, the winner of this game will join Adam Hunt on fourteen points. Thibaut Trigal after his opening game is on sixteen, and Adam Hunt is again behind. Thirty-five. He's up next against Scott Winder. They'll all play five games today, so it's all split into that five segments. We thirty-five. We'll try and keep the in-play table up and running and letting you know what's going on as Van Pia looks at 135. You look at treble 18 or bolt. 64. Don't Robert, have a look. 126. At treble 19. 
one of which would earn him a dart at the bullseye as long as he stays straight, which he wasn't doing too much yesterday, and he's at it again. Wow. How many times is Robert Thornton going to miss a big number? 74. Very I can understand that, that one because it was such a good lie. He really attacked that treble 19 there. There was no thought processes. Van P looks at treble 13 for a big 18. He doesn't miss the big number. And he doesn't miss double top either. Leg. That's a clinical Barry throw. Van but once P. again, no emotion. Very businesslike from Barry Van P. He's had such an interesting career for a 27-year-old. So he obviously had that. Period of dartitis as well. well. A very precocious talent when I first met him. There was a lot of talk that he was a, the next One big thing. 180. And has won some real big challenge to a title. He'd be a professional player next year. Again, 81. yeah. I've been there before. Been there before as well. 100. I was thinking about it. But it's a good backing up either way, isn't it? Yeah, maybe no electricity here from Van Peer, but he's already a long way down in this leg. 93. Trying to back up the break. Looks good, doesn't it? 100. First in this morning. Every time I've sort of walked through the area where the guys are practicing, he's been on the dartboard and you just. Sense everything's just been One switched up a notch. 180. Very required. 81. But is that too late for Thornton? Bullseye. 56. Well, he may be still good. 147. He's got a chance at a 147 here. We'll go downstairs to treble 17 for double 18. What a moment. 129. Very required. 25. Plenty of options here for Barry Van Peer. If it was Thornton himself, he'd go 17, double four. Van Peer may go nine, double eight. Game shot on the second and leg. He takes it out. Barry to Van double Peer. his lead in this match. BVP running riot at the start of this one. But what a standard being produced by the pair of them. Robert Thornton. Can't believe he's playing this well. I think it's Robert to throw first. Game and losing 2 0. Forty-three. One hundred and forty. Yeah, you like the look of Barry Van P before we started today, didn't you? And uh, Trebo did a great job in the opening game, and I have to say, Barry started 59. this. Fifty-nine. Tremendously well. He looks totally at ease with himself in the situation. No sign of stress or anxiety in that throw. A lot of belief. 91. Yeah. Big day for Berry. Every single one of those four players, Glenn, effectively had it in their own hands coming 84. into today with just two points between the top four. They knew that if they beat all of their opponents, then they would be the one topping the table. So... Everybody must have no, come in with some fought. kind of confidence. Yeah, and I don't think anyone played at the best, as in Tricol, Thornton and Van Peer. I, I saw some fantastic stuff from Adam Hunt, but those missed out of doubles in the final 56. game against Robert Thornton, I know it hurt him. He was pretty much out of the venue within 30 seconds of that double going in from Thornton. So, 61 left. I mean, look at the 25, a treble 15. He does like the double eight. So it would make sense to go that way. Especially with Thornton way back on 259. Yes. It's one way traffic at the moment, and you could just see just before this leg, Robert Thornton looked really sort Very of required. deflated 46. before he even approached Yoki, and there was nothing in the averages ahead of this leg. There's now 17 points. Game shot That's how strong leg. Van Peer has Very been Van in comparison Peer. to the Thorn. Still averaging 105 Van Peer. Thornton now below 90. Very Van well, Peer Barry opened proceedings first. yesterday Game on. with a 4-1 victory over Adam Hunt. His average, 105.84. Right now, going into the last leg, 104.86. I think the art Chris are winning a, a group A, group B. He's just 100. peaking at the right time. There's been no panic in his game over Monday and Tuesday, despite not being at his brilliant best. 
This is a good start, isn't it? Well, also, it's so close, Glenn, no, in this group that it could well come down to leg difference. So having just seen Thibaut Treacle win 4-0, this is exactly what Berry Van Peer would have wanted. Yeah, and the leg difference got all the night. There's absolutely nothing to separate them. We'd expect this to go all the way. Yeah, Van Peer, if he wins this, will be two points behind 99. Treacle. But if he wins this next leg, he'll actually be ahead by one on a leg difference. Adam Hunt. Would just be two behind him, one behind one hundred and three call on leg difference, but would have the chance to go level with three call at the top when he faces Scott Winder next. Fifty four. Robbie Maguire, one hundred and forty. Only one dart a double so far for Robert Thornton. One we come back after this one Maguire, five three. One hundred and fifty three. We're going to see something very very special from the very talented Dutchman. Fifty seven. Being so we require fantastically good on double top. Game shot on the fourth leg. You'd expect it to be three one, and that is the case. You've got to start from somewhere. Well, like you said, the body demeanour and. Doesn't hold too so much confidence Robert for Robert Thornton. First. He did look deflated after that. Missed that double Game 18 on. and Berry checked out in that 25 finish in the second leg. But that was a break of throw. 100. Thirty-seven. Doesn't like that. Long way back for Robert Thornton, but he's a man who 40. is really one of the most tenacious dart players in the world. He knows exactly how to win battles, bouncing back not just in matches, but in tournaments, in his career. Even when he's dropped off the tour, he's found a way 100. still to be relevant and win TV titles. Three World Seniors wins. Yeah, so busy on the exhibition circuit as well. He looks like a very happy man, no, does Robert Thornton seven. these days. He Seems good fun. I know he's, he's enjoyed the crack with the younger players here this week. And that's another thing about the Motor Super Series. Relationships do get built in there. Friendships, people they haven't seen for a while. But rest assured, when they step onto that fantastic stage, it is business. 100. 45. Robbie McCall, 164. One hundred. Sixty-four remaining for Robert Thornton when he comes back. Treble eight will be his target when he returns, but under what pressure would he be? Ninety-five. Not a lot, really, but if he gets down to a finish, it is all about Thornton this leg. The double eight. That's not intended, Game is it? He surely leg. went for the treble Robert eight Thornton. to leave tops, but it looked clean in the end. And I tell you what. Chris, he's, uh, we often say in this commentary box that he doesn't like this part Sick of the board. Berry to throw first. Well, I tell you, it's not often Game he messes on. about with double 16, double 8. It, uh, double top will always be his go-to double, but he's been very clever on that double 8. And once again, he's back in this match. He has to break Berry Van Peer. I'm just thinking Berry was leading 3-0 yesterday no, against Thibaut seven. Tricol, cruising. I sat in this commentary box and said there's no way back for the Frenchman. I've stayed quiet so far. No, There's always a way six. back for the Scotsman. He mentioned it as well, didn't he, Glenn, in that interview? He, he was certainly aware of that. He mentioned the one three six that Thibaut took out to beat him. 54. So, certainly in his mind, and he knows that had that not been the case, he could have been the man sitting where Tricol is now at the top of the table. 83. Yeah, just the width of a wire there for Robbie. You can see the frustration there as he... Went for that treble 18. So it just makes Berry still favourite for this leg in the match. But he's just beginning to sway them a little bit. 95. 100. 
Really good visit from Van Tier. 171. And that puts him on the brink now of what would be a really significant victory. Again, One I like the bullseye of that last start 84. there for Robert. One, two, two is a real difficult finish, but will he be back? There's the process that Berry goes through every time he gets down to the finish. So 68 left. He's, the fact that Thornton's on a finish means it's Game the ball. Game shot on the match. And it was labelled as a Barry blockbuster Benfie. game. It was a blockbuster finish there from Berry Benfield. He was superb for the majority of that game, and that's exactly the start he wanted. Very pensive Robert Thornton walking off as we look at the stats there. A very professional game from both players. Excellent on the outer ring from both people. But it's Barry, v Barry Ventia that moves on to join Adam Hunt on 14 points. And we see Adam Hunt. He's up next against Scott Winder. Welcome back to the Moda Super Series, where before the break, we saw Barry Van Peer get the better of Robert Thornton by 4x2. Highly impressive game. Van Peer getting over the line and moving himself on to 14 points. Two behind the league leader, Thibaut Dracol, but Adam Hunt can give him company on 16 points if he can get the better of Scott Winder. And watching this one in the commentary box, it's Glenn Dunn and Chris Murphy. Yeah, thank you, Henry. Adam Hunt... Been top of the group for a long time, but he's had to watch Berry Van Peer and Thibaut Tricol, the guys right behind him, have opening victories. Scott Winder's had a very interesting start to his campaign. Just the one win so far, but I've seen some positives. His scoring's up there with them. It's just not that confidence when he gets down to a finish, and I know that's an area of the game he's going to try and improve today, but 
the big task against the hunter. Yeah, this is the one, and it's not meant to sound disrespectful in any way to Scott Winder, but he's the one at the bottom of the table. He's only won one match. That was his first game of the week, so he's now first leg nine Scott to first. without victory. Game on! So for those players that are chasing at the top, this is the match that they will all feel they should win. They've just got to get past him. Maybe having seen what we've seen from Jerry Hendricks this morning as well, they'll think the same about him, and it's going to be all about the battles with each other. Yeah, I wouldn't write off Scott today. He's got a funny feeling he could just play 62. some sort of role today because he's such a big scorer. And once again, he's found two treble 19s to start. It's just when he gets down to around round 201. 100. Where the pressure seems to really change for him, and that's the area of the game that he needs to improve in. 140. Well, he did have one big problem yesterday, didn't he, Scott? 39. And it was that, that his darts didn't land in the board very often. Don't know how I do it, Glenn. 43. As I mentioned, it comes to pass. It's too good. It was an incredible day of bouncer. Whether he sharpened his darts, it's got to have, be, have something to do with... 85. I mean, I think I was quoted very much at the day. He's got the type of setup of the dart there, that fatty bulbous barrel, which he shouldn't get a lot of bounce outs. But Whoa, this is the best version of Adam Hunt I've seen for 18 months. Well, that maximum puts him on 76 after a dozen darts 44. against the throw. The ideal 76. start for Hunt if he takes this out. It will just be the one dot. I'm not sure whether 16 is the right route here. How much can he see of that tops? Oh, he can see enough. Camera angle Scott showed us that. Just thought the first one might have been blocking it more than that. And if it was, he might have stayed there. So this is the area where Scott has been knowing he's not playing so well, but he didn't. And he required 20. I was hoping he was just going to stand back on that last time. Just a little bit of trial and error as Adam looks at double four. 12. It's got your required 20. Well, he's had his chance. He's had his chances. Plural. Four darts missed it. Double in this game. No score. But he can't Enemy be punished. Require eight. No score. Well, this kind of thing was happening a lot yesterday 20. as well, wasn't it? His assessment of day one is he's absolutely delighted with his doubles. Game shown the that first was a perfect leg. first mark. Scott Winder. I mean, that'll be a real concern for Adam Hunt right now because his final game of yesterday as well against Robert Thornton. Second against Adam to throw first. He should have won that match. It was double after double, and I am sure that must have been on his mind. He'll tell you it won't. 46. But worrying times for the first time this week for Adam Hunt. Sixty. Sixty. That's got wind up. Yeah, well, he's forgot his own personalised towel today. It looks like he's nicked one from the hotel. Big white 59. one rolled up on the table there. What Scott doesn't realise, I've wrote England 3, Scotland 1 on it. See if he picks up on that. 81. He couldn't do what the likes of Florian Hempel and John Part do with that towel, could he? And tie it around his belt, he'd be tripping over. 100. Yeah, definitely give him a 6 out of 10 for his scoring this week. And his doubles much do better. He could be having an interesting Group C campaign because maybe that little bit 96. of belief will come back. And when you do see that you start on zero with everyone else. That must be a a motivational lift. Yeah, it's an interesting 59. group as well, isn't it? It's probably going to feature him and Jerry Hendricks, but then one of that top four, they're all trying to win the group, but one of them is going to end up in Group C. And then Martin Turner, uh, Robert Grundy. 96. 
Yeah, it's Rob Grundy. I haven't heard him called Robert for a long time, but he is a superb player. Watch out for him. 59. In group B. And you're 122. Chas Barstow, Paul Hogan, Stu Wilson. Join the party. Double seven here for Hunt. Going oh, that's a brilliant finish. Leg. And maybe just Adam what he Hunt. needed. Because it could have got messy from there. Had he missed inside, instead he took it out. A one two two shot, and it's so all square after two. To first. And if that's Game his fourth hundred plus finish of the week. His complement is one one two, one one five, and one three eight. But he'd be feeling better all of a sudden. One hundred. Sixty. Yeah, the biggest problem, Chris, for Adam in this game for me is that he's mentally won this game before he starts, but. I think that man in your picture has only got one win so far and it seems a long, long time ago. I think he still has. I think he's going to have a game today, which might surprise us all. Hey, is he won? 100. Sped up. I think there's a little bit more rhythm there when he goes for scoring. But if you watch him when he gets down to a finish, it's just a bit scrappy. 84. 100. A nice steady stuff. Three tons in this leg. Gets himself down to 160. And Hunt is going to struggle to leave a finish here. Needs a couple of trebles. That's not going to happen. 42. He's got your record 160. This is where I've worried about Scott for... This is where the areas he needs to improve. And he really should have gone for the bullseye in the last dart there to, to leave himself at least a two-darter. That gives a chance for Adam. And usually when that first one goes in, the rest one follow. 180. He's got your record 102. 102. Well, that was unlucky. It bounced off the dart that was in the board I mean, there, 54. so I'm not sure whether it was going to find its way into the treble or not. Every dart, by the way, has been reacted to by the practice room next, next door. I might just stick the microphone to the wall hunt. in a minute because you want to hear all the oohs and ahs that we're hearing at the moment. And there was a big oo when Hunt missed a big number, well, but it was Adam all quiet when he hit the double, Game so that tells you which three players are reacting, doesn't it, Glenn? Uh, more worrying, the commentary from the players there is better than what's in, coming from 96. in here. 96. Well, half of it, anyway. You're not that bad, Chris. For once, I've got no comeback. Well no done. Uh, Scott Winder got a comeback in him here. Does he need to start winning 40. some games today, or do you think it's completely about a real reset tomorrow? Well, six. He said to me he's gonna more trial and error more than anything. But when he gets down to a double, he's gonna what I say do the rob cross and just take his time to see if that works for him. And he had that he had that chance in the seven. first leg with Adam Hunt, and he, I thought he rushed the tops again. So maybe it's just when you're up there, you sometimes don't think, listen, I've, I'm just back as well from playing in no, the World Seniors six. and I did so many things wrong myself and, and you know you're doing it. It's just in that moment. 140. So it's easier sat here saying them things. Let's read up to Scott. To, he's learning on the job. 100. Enemy requires 68. Great darts. Great start. Game show on the Great fourth finish. leg. Adam Hunt. Adam Hunt leads by three to one. Fifth leg, it's Scott to throw first. Game on. AC3. Oh, wow. One hundred and thirty-five. Looks like the writing's on the wall, doesn't it, for Scott Winder now in this one? Yeah, and Adam's a real confidence player. I can see he's 100. now in control of himself. There was that real panic moment at the beginning. Well, he's roared that storm, and 
His average is going up, going up from the seventies to the high eighties now, and he's just cruising into third gear, and now slipping it into fourth. One hundred. Very intelligent man, Adam Hunt. He'll understand the, the situation. One hundred ninety. He had the best of the draw to get three games in in the first seven matches. He can really find out exactly where he is after game seven. One hundred and five. Fifty-three. He's got the record is seventy-eight. So to stay in it, treble eighteen. Double 12. Going east. Game shot on the fifth leg. And finding the Scott target. Winder. Winder. Continues to be a thorn in the side of Adam Hunt. Sig leg, it's Adam to throw first. Game on. Ben just alluded to, will be top of the table on leg difference if he wins this match. But he cannot afford to slip on this darting banana skin. 96. Yeah, we could come down to legs difference. That's how tight this group is right now. And you could sort of see the disappointment when that double six went 40. in from, from Adam for obvious reasons, but he's taking control of this leg. A leg he'll hope, be hoping it's the final one. 24. It's already certain that Jerry Hendricks nor Scott Winder can win this group, but it's also certain that Scott Winder is in Group C. He cannot do anything today. To change one hundred and forty in terms of where he plays and when he plays his darts, but can he do something today to change his confidence levels, Glenn? That has to be the plan. I mean, you don't just turn for five games. He's absolutely delighted to be here. You don't just end up like a, a negative experience. No, is he so treat today like it's Monday and like I said, lay that foundation for groups. I don't know if we've seen the end of him just yet. I've seen some positive signs from him. 99. I'm just not so sure how much belief he has in himself. 134. Actually, the last game of today is Jerry Hendricks against Scott Winder, so that'll be total dead rubber after the Lord Mayor's show, won't it, by that point? But Adam Hunt, Berry Van Peer, the third match from 60. last, that could be one Scott that decides 91. who's going through. Well, Robert Thornton takes on Thibaut Treacle in that last set of fixtures as well. So all the big boys are playing each other at the end. Now, he's now got the same that Adam's got. But he can't take it out. 39. Can Hunt. And I mean, require 88. To win 4 2. Just messy again from Winder. Two darts for the match. Adam Hunt. Hunt game goes top of the, the table. Match. Adam he had Hunt. his hairy moment in that game then. Scott Winder, who's playing that role of the spoiler. But Adam Hunt from 1-0 down does take a 4-2 victory in the end and return to the top of the table. A nice solid 87.50 from the man from County Durham. 3 180s for Scott Winder. Some positives there, but it's the double trouble once again. And next up, it's Jerry Hendricks against Robert Thornton.
Welcome back to the live lounge here in Portsmouth, where the first round of fixtures at the Motors Super Series have been completed. And before the break, we saw Adam Hunt get the better of Scott Winder by four legs to two. Elsewhere, victory for Barry Van Peer against Robert Thornton by the same scoreline, whilst Thibaut Tricol got his campaign off to a perfect start, getting the better of Jerry Hendricks by four legs to nil. So this is how the table looks for the 11th round of fixtures. And so it means at the top of the league standings, Hunt and Cole still can't be split on 16 points. Van Peer looking to join that party on 16 in this round of fixtures. Right, so Robert Thornton, victory here against Jerry Hendricks, will move him onto 14 points and will keep him in two races for the Group A title and for that spot in Group B on Thursday and Friday night, respectively. Watching this one in the commentary box is Glenn Durrant and Chris Murphy. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, big match for Robert Thornton, particularly having lost that darting duel with the Dutchman, Barry Van Peer in game two of today's 15 fixtures. But his second meeting with a Netherlands native is a much more winnable match based on the evidence we saw from Jerry Hendricks in his opener. He was kind of there, but not really present against Thibaut Tricolo. Took him apart, beating 4-0. And Robert Thornton will be hoping that the same Jerry turns first up for this Jerry one. Jerry to throw first. Game on. Owen Binks, the referee, getting proceedings underway. Hendricks does have the darts. But, yeah, he'll want to dust himself down and put in a much better performance. Glenn, what do you do in that scenario when you've had a, a bad game and then you've got to come back half an hour later to play again? What can he do to, to remedy that? Well, I hopefully he just sat down. I mean, some people say get straight back 100. on the practice board and I don't think that necessarily worked for me. I'd actually just sort of self-reflect a little bit and just find out why you feel that happened. Maybe just not overthink too much. 60. Just try and get chatting with the guys again. But I think the biggest thing you can do is sort of overthink and rush to the practice board as well. Just give yourself a few minutes. 80. And really just start again. But that was a bizarre performance from Jerry because he's played on the Ali Pali stage. Jerry Hendricks is a... Got a great CV, real character. 119. And already is playing so much more better in the, this match alone. One hundred. It's going to be tough for the Thorn to win Group A now. I mean, literally can land on 20 points, but can I say Adam Hunt and Tebow not getting past 20? I, I can't. So maybe that'll just settle Robert. Will he want to be in Group B to come back and play on the night? Or will he be the headline act of Group C? Because I think the person that finishes fourth 85. today Jerry will feel very, very confident of topping Group C. Treble 20 would leave the bullseye. Not found, but already Hendricks is much more competitive 46. than Robert, he was at the start 36. of his game with Thibaut Tricol. 96. Thornton Jerry leaving his favoured tops. Hendricks, though, should get a dart at a double here. As long as he doesn't miss the, the bullseye ring and he does find the 25. So it's 17 to hoist the thorn by his own petard. 52. Finds a next door neighbour. Robbie Requiem, 40. Game shot. No next first door neighbour for Robert Thornton. Robert Thornton. Smack bang in the middle of his favourite double. 1 0 to the Scotchman. Yeah, one. Second against Robert to throw first. Miss. Game on. For Hendricks, followed by a hit for the Thorn, and it's a break of throw immediately. 100. Never mind the battle between Jerry Hendricks and Robert Thornton here. How about the battle between Jerry Hendricks and the referee 60. Owen Binks for their best shoes? Fifty-seven. I think there's no doubt about who wins that one. It's the dart player, not the referee. Would you wear them, Chris? Uh, I've got them in four colours. One hundred and nineteen. One hundred. My co-commentator now kicks me and shows me his shoes. 
No contest for Jerry Hendricks, but once 21. again, there's the frustration you can see on his face. He's really angry with himself. It's just not working today. It does make the rest of the week very difficult. 118. Yeah, Robert Thornton's had a hit and miss week so far. He's had a hit and miss time at the Super Series. Again, in his interview earlier, he mentioned the fact that he, it's becoming a frustration that he hasn't 60. won a week and made it to five. 126. Since we moved here to our brilliant venue in Portsmouth. Brilliant. Double six. That Game is absolutely superb. Leg. Robert Thornton. Well, Robert Thornton. Raises the level in this game with a fabulous 126 well, Jerry checkout. Jerry first. Game on. And we mentioned Jerry putting things right. Well, in the previous match, we saw Robert Thornton go for that checkout, but miss a big number after finding a treble. This time, he got a bedfellow 60. and planted in the double, no problem. Yeah, just to be the, the miserable one, but is it just a little too late for Robert Thornton? I just felt the loser of that opening game between Berry Van Pee and Robert Thornton. It would be a tough ass now to, to go on and top group here. 38. I fully expect Robert Thornton to be here on Saturday night, don't get me wrong, but it has been very up and down. 140. Very much up in this game, though. Yeah, really good stuff. But again, it's one of those games. Every player in that race will be earmarking matches against Jerry Hendricks and Scott Winder as must win. And it's the battles between each other that are going to be really key. And Robert Thornton's already lost one of those. And there's another one coming up next, by the way. It's Adam Hunt against Thibaut Treacle. So this becomes even more 55. important for Robert Thornton because one of those players is definitely going to move to 18 points. He needs to be on 14, doesn't he? 86. And averaging over 102 a year is Robert Thornton. This is by far his best game of the week so far. <laughs> well, Jerry Hendricks finally meets who he wanted to meet. Robbie Taking a while. 40. And he has left the big one, but not much leg. chance of coming back Robert when Robert Thornton's Thornton. got tops in front of him. And that proves to be the case. Three zip. Fourth leg, it's Robert to throw first. That was Game a on. 13 dart leg from Robert Thornton, and it puts him on an average of 32 points more than his opponent. 96. Yeah, part of Robert will be thinking, you know, why didn't I save this game for Barry Van Peer against Adam Hunt, etc.? He's saving his best against somebody he's expected. To be, 125. But it will give him the confidence going into his next games, and we'll be seeing Robert up against next against Scott Winder in all Scottish class. Another game he'd be expected 96. to win. So we could see Robert Thornton on 16 points very soon. Yeah, we're still seeing good legs from Robert Thornton. To be fair, at, at this stage of the game against Van Peer, he was playing that well, wasn't 60. he? But it wasn't going his way. And then he tailed off. We're just not seeing the good legs as often. I liked his interview, actually. I thought he, he read the week very well. There was games there that he could have won. Other people had the same, and there was a lot to play for today. Totally understood the importance 85. of that first game. It's just whether or not he can execute the day. And I would be surprised to me if you lost a game, that opening game, and then going to win it. But 139. Make a good fist of it. Thirty-one. I mean, requires seventy-four. So, treble fourteen. I was going thirteens, but I'm not sure he would go the ball. Thirty-four. No, he hasn't gone for it. Ten for tops. Sensible play from the Scotsman in that spot. Maybe they'll put the mockers on it, but One Robert Thornton's been pretty sublime. Three out of three on the outer ring so far. Told you I should have shut up. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. 30. Robert, Robert, Robert. Jerry require 100. I don't know why I do it. Oh, they'll be singing Jerry, Jerry after this one. And he's Springer a surprise. 80. Well, Thornton now will get the chance Robert, to complete 10. the whitewash win. Double five, persevering. 
It was nearly double one then, but it will be double two. Six. Can't find that either. Jerry required 20. Ten. Just zero confidence required four. of that going in. Been a disappointing day for Jerry Hendricks. Madhouse. Two. Well, Hendricks himself is waving his arms, almost Jerry like he wanted Thornton ten. to put him out of his misery, but Thornton just keeps opening the door, and it's exactly what happened in his previous match against Barry play. Van Peer. He played Jerry for Hendricks. three legs, absolutely divine darts, and then just completely drifted off. Now, luckily this time, he's against an opponent Fifth who's Jerry to throw first. often close to nothing in Game return, on. but the match goes on. Forty-one. One hundred. Quality darts there from Thornton. Yeah, the frustration with everybody knows it's a game. He's only he, he can lose it rather than Jerry win it. Forty-five. Sixty. Muttering to himself, he he knows he's lost that little bit of zest. Yeah, it's incredibly close on the legs difference, and I, you know, is it going to come down to some crazy permutation 100. at the end of it? Just even a missed leg, like the chances Robert had for a four-nil victory there, could come back. One hundred and forty. Well, he's looking good for a big four-one victory here. He's a hundred ahead as Jerry comes to the hockey. One of my darts, that first one. Ninety-seven. One hundred and thirty-four. Well, it's almost there. Uh... I wonder if he'll actually uh, go for treble nine here to try and 40. move tops. Probably requires 67. No, he's going for treble 17. And end up on tops in the end. And that's what he gets. And that is the end. The 4 1 win for Thornton. Made hard work of it in the middle of the match there. We had a bit of a drop off. But Jerry Hendricks has just not been at the races today. And Robert Thornton takes full advantage of 4-1 success for the Scotsman a 90 average for him 4 out of 12 on the doubles and he had that brilliant 1-2-6 check out to get the party started points on the board for Thornton 2 off the top 2 who play next when Adam Hunt meets Thibaut Tricol
Every Saturday, we open our doors for our weekly finals night. For a unique and intimate dance experience. Meet the dance stars and even the team of the telly. Here at our purpose-built venue in Portsmouth. Every single Saturday evening. Tickets can be booked via this QR code. Or at www.dartshop.tv for a very small booking fee. Follow us at MSS Darts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok for all the latest ticketing news. All you need to do, log on, book, turn up and the action gets underway from 7.30pm. So what are you waiting for? Get your tickets to the darts. We look forward to welcoming you to the Moda Super Series very soon. Welcome back to the Motor Super Series here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. And you join us as a really important part of this group here. Top of the table clash. Keyboard recalling your picture from France against Adam Hunt from County Durham, who's been pretty much top of the group since Monday morning. As we come to the conclusion of this group, no matches get any bigger than this one. Absolutely. The two at the top ready to... Perform a tungsten tango here first leg on it's Wednesday Adam to throw first. at the Super Series. It's Strictly come darting for the right to go clear at the peak of the pile in Group A. Which one of them will take the initiative? Which one will hold the baton? 85. And put themselves in pole position to be the group winner and to be here at finals night on Saturday. Yeah, it's one, one win apiece so far in the head-to-head -head. on Monday. Adam won 4-1. Yesterday, Tebo in a cracking game with Adam. It was 4-3. Don't forget, if you want to watch... 100. The winner of this group and five others fighting it out on Saturday night, you can be here as well. All you've got to do is scan that QR code on your screen now. 97. And secure your free tickets. The finals night here at the Live Lounge in Portsmouth. If you're in the area, if you want 100. a bit of a darting pilgrimage and tick this one off your bucket list, do head to dartshop.tv and secure your spot at Saturday's session. But for these players, Glenn, that's exactly what they'll be aiming to do today. Yeah, just warming up very nicely. Been pretty steady start to the day. Let's just say no. we've got 164. For this one, there just seems to be extra impetus in it. Fifty-eight. Again, I like the bullseye in the last start there. Would have left a two darter, even if it, the 25. Hunt is going to get a dart at tops for the first leg. 56. Do we require 100? It'll be a real race this. Thornton on 14. The loser of this on 16. Barry Van Peer will be on 16 if he wins his next match against Winder. But the winner will be on 18 points. And they are going to be 51. the one then to, to catch. 20. Will Hunt be the hunted? He's been a bit scruffy on his doubles if he Game looks at the, the assessment of what a dart Adam that Hunt. is. So, so important to get up and running in the top of the table clash. Just the best of seven, a holder throw. Second against Tebow to throw first. Over to you, Tebow to call. One hundred and forty. Yeah, good start in reply to losing that opening leg. 134. But a good reply to the reply. And then a good reply to the reply to the reply. 140. Should we carry on? No. <laughs> 100. Good pace. Sometimes you can build the game up if it's probably ruined by a little bit of tension between the pair of them because the winner of this will go to 18 points. 30. Do well, we this could be an 81. 11 data, but it doesn't need to be now because Adam Hunt has lost the pace in this game. So that's fine. Treble 14 or 18. 41. Tees up tops for his return for a potential 13 dart game. When you, when you have a score like that and you know you've 40. got the darts next, it doesn't hurt because 
You don't want to throw your best darts away when you don't need it, but that's Game super. Two double left. tens from the pair Tebow of them so Trico. far. Nothing to separate them. It's 1-1. One, one. The Liggett's Adam to throw first. Game on. Yeah, Adam Hunt, as Glenn just mentioned, has the advantage of the throw today. 55. In this one. He also will throw first against Robert Thornton, but will throw second in his last match of the day when he meets Barry Van Teer. Now, that no, could be not. a straight shootout for top spot by that point of the day. We will try and keep you across the permutations as the day pans out to the best of our Whoa, ability as Adam Hunt showcases the best of his ability with a marvellous maximum. Yeah, this is fourth of the day. And it's 16th of the week. 45. Nine. Just keeping his head above the parapet. He knows he's got the dart. It's going to be tough for Tricol to break Adam in this mood. 60. And I mean, we're going 167. Ninety seven. It's been very comfortable with throw so far for the players. Yeah, it's eighty one. And I mean requires seven. The leg that Tebow would have wanted to follow that excellent previous one. He was looking for the forty two there, so he's just gonna tidy this up and he's got the time to do so. Twenty three. Thirty-eight. It's really good that Adam took his time. A little bit of experience for, albeit the fact he's only thirty, but he's been around a long time as Adam Hunt. One hundred. Adam, you require thirty-two. And he loves being in this part of the board. Game show on the third leg. Adam Hunt. Yeah, nicely done. I didn't want to give Tebow a chance at a shot like one hundred and sixteen. We know that. He's but more than capable of those first. types of finishers. Can be really pivotal. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a chat group. And a, yeah, congratulating 60. Adam after Monday and Tuesday, Ryan Joyce and Chris Dobie, who's on holiday at the moment. So there's a lot of support. Like I said, it's big news this in the North East. I know I, I harp on about it because, you know, all the ball system, the ADC systems, but... You know, they do look after their own in the North East. And 100. There's a lot of watching Adam's progress this week. He's sort of been quiet for a couple of months, gone back to playing a lot of local league. So certainly, sometimes in Dutch, it's good to take a step back to, to move forward. And he's, he's trying to peak, ready for January at Q school. 140. The first time the throw has been attacked between these two. One yeah, hundred. and he does get down to a finish first. He's only 60 points ahead of three coal, but if he doesn't find a treble here, or he finds the wrong treble... 44. The wrong trebles. 41. Then they're on similar finishes. That one shouldn't be too harmful, actually, in that spot. 61. He takes off 61, leaves 80, meaning he doesn't have to find a treble to get to a double in his next visit. Yeah, 80 is a tricky one. You could see the little bit of disappointment there from Adam. 28. Now there won't be disappointment. to be delight because 129 is horrible. Yeah, so he's taken away the, the, the blockers floor, there, there by finding Adam the Hunt. treble 20. And Adam Hunt attacked the throw. Broke the throw and now will throw for a 4 1 win. So if they get Adam to throw first, game on. Yeah, you don't see a lot of emotion from T Boy. You can see him shaking his head away there. Is that a sign he feels the game has gone? 140. This is a very big win for Adam Hunt if he can get over the line because Tebow's used to four, three matches, so he'll keep fighting. But Adam Hunt would have Jerry Hendricks next, 60. who's having a, a shocker of a day so far. We could see Adam Hunt in the next 
40 minutes, be sat on 20 points. 47. Yeah, had that stellar opening day, didn't he, Adam Hunt, when he went through the card, won all five matches. Uh, but yesterday, he actually only won two, Glenn. So he'll be really relieved to start by matching that tally in the minimum amount of matches to do it. 22. Yeah, is that the end of Tricol in this match? They look like darts of someone who have beaten man, but that'll disappoint. He's got to stay focused here. 40. And the way I read that situation is Adam's thinking, yes, I've got him because Tebow barely threw his last three darts. And then the first half for Adam, that low one, he's must stay concentrated. 95. And we've got six darts from 136. They go to 18 points. 100. 60. So for the win, 36. for a very convincing one as well. And to go top of the table, Game Adam Hunt. shot on the match. Adam sees Hunt. off the Frenchman, Thibaut Tricot. It's a 4-1 success for the North East Darts player who moves north to the top of the group. 91.34 the average. Uh, four out of seven success on the doubles. That 80 checkout that gave him the break of throw. Very important indeed in there. And he moves clear by two points at the top of the table from Tree Cole and miles clear of the chasing pack now, which includes Berry Van Peer. And he's up next against Scott Winder.
Welcome back to the Motor Super Series, where before the break, big result for Adam Hunt getting the better of Thibaut Tricol by four legs to one. That means, as far as he's concerned, he moves on to 18 points, two ahead of the Frenchman and four ahead of Robert Thornton and Barry Van Peer. However, Van Peer can cut that gap in half if he can get the better of Scott Winder here. It's the final game of the 12th round of fixtures, and in the commentary box is Glenn Dunn alongside Chris Murphy. Yeah, thank you very much, Henry. Great job there by Adam Hunt. He's the first person to go to 18 points. And all Berry Van Peer and the chasing pack and was now focus on their own games. You do feel like it's in the hands of Adam Hunt right now. And the Scott Winder. It's also still only the one win in his group here campaign. First, it's Berry to throw first. Game on. Part of that is that it's such a tough, tough group here. And Berry Van Peer, top of the challenge, so we'll. Expect to be a professional dart player next year. 60. Does really want to win this week and give himself an opportunity at Champions Week as well. That's how good he is. 59. The Scott Wind will come through the ADC system. Been a tough all week so far, 60. but he has another chance in Group C. Where he'll be starting all over again. So he'll be using today just to keep learning about his game. 100. An important match for Van Peer. You think now any defeat for Thornton or Berry would be 29. potentially fatal for their chances of topping the group because they would only have one hundred handful of games left. Thornton has already played his second game in this group. Very Berry Van Peer can put himself in a very promising position or a very difficult 96. one. So even though this is one of the fixtures that you would mark up as a win, if you were going to be doing a predictor, it's really important 58. now for Van Peer. This is what Wednesdays are like. Every game just takes on an extra sense of importance. 45. Yeah, and I can't help but think the final game for Adam Hunt will be against Berry Van Peer. That could be very interesting. Because Berry can go to 16 points here. Just the two behind Adam Hunt. So a win for Berry over Adam. Then you start looking at legs difference. Hence the excitement in my voice. 41. It's going to be a wonderful so finale, I feel. Double 16 to put the pressure on Van Peer from the off. Game Double 8 does that. Leg. And it's a Scott Winder. immediate break of throw. For Scott Winder, as Berry mops his brow. Second against Scott, and Scott to throw Winder. First. Game on. Has turned up the heat. Eighty-three. One hundred. Sixty. You can see a determination in his face there, Winder. He doesn't want to let that lead slip already, having done the Whoa, hard work to break Berry. He's grimaced when he hit a sixty, knowing that Vampire was likely to do something like that. One hundred and eighty. What a response. Yeah, I'm just sort of sat back watching what's going on here. One hundred and eighty. What's going on? He's 3 one He's on the spin. Let's have another one, Scott. Oh, no, he's on one seven eight. Ninety six. 96 Very required. Well, two 41. of them came for this man. So having been broken straight away, this is bounce Game back. Berry, isn't it? Leg. Brilliant stuff. Berry Van Pitt. 11 data to cancel out that early break of throw. And it's They're all like square. Berry to throw first. Darts game. is a crazy game, isn't it? How can you go from sort of just being... Struggling around the board just to ping an 11 data so effortlessly like that. 96. Are you seeing enough yet from Berry Van Peer to justify the fact that he was top of the bookies billing today despite trailing? 45. I think I'm only being hypercritical about him, Chris, because I respect him and, it, and it's very constructive, but he's such a 65. moody player, isn't he? I would just love to see him express himself a little bit more. That's all I, and it, it, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but. 85. And I, Brad, talent wise, just exceptional. Absolutely fabulous player. 
41. Well, I've said many times, talent's just the 50% side of it. Then it's the skills and attributes. And I think I think he could find one or two percent by just hey, do you appearing want? to be enjoying it. Hey, it's yeah, four. Sorry, Glenn, such a strong lead. At the top of the challenge 60. to uh, £12,800. He's got the next player, 7200 He's almost twice as much. Twice as good as second place. 99 100. Very 116 to move ahead. Fifty-six. It's got to require one hundred and thirty. This would take something special. He needs the travel twenty if he's going to do it. Advantage, Van Pier. Forty-three. Very requires sixty. Game shot on the third well, leg. Barry Van Peer. Just very clean, very decisive. And you just feel well, as another Scott couple of gears there with Barry Game Van Peer. And maybe he needs a Saturday night, maybe he needs a crowd to really motivate him. And oh, Am I being too critical, Chris? You tell me. Usually. 81. But yeah, I do think we. Ninety-six. We haven't seen the best of Barry Vampire. I don't think for the last couple of times he's come here to the Super Series. I mentioned that challenge to a 45. success he's had. Most of that came in the first half of the year. He just got so far ahead that he was just uncatchable for everybody else. I don't think he's really backed it up in the second half of the year. We saw it when he went on the European tour when he came here to the Super Series. He was untouchable at times. Whoa, and he'd be in a group like this, dominating it. He's not doing that. He's one of in this group, not the main man. Yeah, he had one of those sensational group years, he? he? was unbelievable. Well, he's done exactly what he did in the previous leg, although by a different route. He's matched a maximum effectively 60. there by Very finding three treble 19s and everything that Scott Winder throws at him. Berry bats back. Treble 16 would have left the double. 52. It's got to 135. We'll start on the bullseye, but can't get near it. 55. Very required. 48. Now, can he navigate past that dart? He can Game shot on the fourth leg. put it between the Barry posts Van and has a 3-1 lead against Scotland. Yeah, it's very, very busy again the second it's half very to for first. Barry Van Peer. Just Game on. having a look at his games recently, a wins over Chris Dovey. Yay! Martin Lukeman. No, Benjamin Roos. Another fantastic run at the Swedish Masters where he lost in the final to Liam Mendel-Lawrence. There's a character. Yes. 58. We were thinking about booking him for the Moda Super Series. Extended special. 100. Yeah, Liam Mendel Lawrence, one of the slow players of the game. Great 140. guy. 140. A lovely chance to chat with him in single finger. He's just a really good guy. Just happens to be. Well, he makes me look quick. Yeah, it should be 42. a feature we, we might bring in. Things you could do while Liam Mendel Lawrence throws his darts. Run a marathon. 95. Mediterranean cruise. Ninety-three. I'm calling it now. The big fish goes next. 
Well, there we have confirmation that this 170 one, finish certainly will one, not be taken out because Glenn Durant hasn't got a thing right ever since he sat down alongside me. Come on, Barry. And there he goes again. 134. It's got your record 108. You walk under a ladder on your way into work by any chance, Glenn. Well, that's not going to go, so Barry Van Peer can complete the victory. 4-1 as well, a thumping win. That would take him within two points of the top of the table. 76. Very required, 36. Game and it's a pretty straightforward in the end for Barry Venti. He moves up to second place and the trials and tribulations for poor Scott Wagner continue. But he has a massive smile on his face. He seems to be enjoying it. But, but for Barry, he goes into second place and it's probably eyeing his final game of the day. A massive crunch game with Adam Hunt. That could be the biggest game of the day. But next up, it's Jerry Hendricks against top of the table, Adam Hunt. Welcome back, everyone, to the Motor Super Series, where before the break, Barry Van Beer got the better with Scott Winder by four legs to one. That concludes the second round of fixtures for the day. And does it, Glenn Dunn has joined me up here to assess what we've seen so far. These are the results then from our first couple of rounds worth of fixtures. Thibaut Tricol got the day off to the perfect start, getting the better with Jerry Hendricks by four legs to nil. But it has been two victories on the spin for Barry Van Peer and Adam Hunt. And it is them two, it feels, Glenn, that could be on a bit of a collision course. Yeah, and look at that final game that the pair of them play. I mean, 
poor Barry Van Peer. I've called him Barry Van Peer and Larry Van Peer so far. So he's had three names, but two victories, the most important part. But Adam Hunt will also be delighted with the start he's had. Well, Barry was as happy as Larry when he got the better of Robert Thornton in his opening game of the session. A 1 7 1 set up to then get the better of the form. And look, both players knew this was a crucial first match. Yeah, the flashes of brilliance from Barry has been absolutely superb today. And that 1 7 1 set up play and the 84 conclusion against Robert Thornton was, was absolutely sublime. And he, he's a terrific player. He's got all the skills and talents. And like I said, I've been quite critical about him and how do I get an extra 1%, 2% out of him. Um, but we yeah, are a terrific player. Well, certainly. So, Ad, uh, Berry gets a victory there. Then Adam Hunt comes to the hockey against Scott Rinder. Now, Scott gave it as good as he got, but Adam just had that little bit of extra class, didn't he? It's the best Adam Hunt I've seen for 18 months. I'm really, really... Obviously, I know Adam well, and to see him playing so well, he, he looks good. Um, you know, he's had some a lot of questions asked about him and Scott Winder when he went 1-0 up and was doing OK in that leg. But, you know, he, he stood firm and uh, it's going to take someone really special to beat him today. Well, Thornton got the better of Jerry Hendricks after that defeat to Barry Van Peer. But would you say, OK, to that first game against Barry is probably too much damage done now? Well, that's what I said in comms, so I, I better stick by that. I just felt that the winner of that game between Thornton and Van Peer would be very important. And for the loser, it would be a big ask. Robert can get the 20 points, but is Tricol, Van Peer, Adam Hunt not going to get the 22? I don't think so. So maybe he saved his best a little bit too late. As for Thierry Tricol, he was defeated by Adam in his second game. You felt how crucial it should be for both players. And Adam didn't just run out a winner, he ran out a comprehensive winner. Yeah, it was a good game, a really, really good game. And when I spoke with Adam, he was delighted with his doubles on Monday. Um, but they sort of deserted him yesterday. And there's been at times that final game yesterday against Thornton. So to see him get back on their outer ring, he'll have been chuffed to pieces with that. As far as Thibaut is concerned, what do you think he'll be thinking now? Will he think opportunity over, or does he feel like he's going to have to go through the card now, rest of the day? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think the I think the one who qualifies now is the the, the player that's immaculate, Bracanel. But look at that final game for Barry Van Peer and Adam Hunt. I think and I hope it comes down to that game. Right, let's have a look then at the table. We've been talking about it. Let's have a look at it. As Adam Hunt moves two points clear at the top of the table on 18 points, Bay Van Peer and Thibaut Tricol keeping close company in behind on 16 apiece. Robert Vaughan, it looks like his battle might be for Group B on Thursday and Friday night, respectively, whilst Jerry Hendricks and Scott Winder will be back tomorrow afternoon. Just keep your eye on the second from the end column as well, legs difference. It could come to that. It may well do. Right, let's get into our seventh game then, because Adam Hunt is in action. He takes on Jerry Hendricks, who has had far from the ideal start from the day. Yeah, it's been a shocking day for Jerry so far. He's so likeable as well, like you want him to do really well, but he'll be scratching his head with them first two games. You would expect Adam to win this game comfortably, but how many times have we said that at the Motor Super Series before? Consistency is key, and I think the person that wins group is the one that's most consistent today. Adam has to stay really focused in this match. But the man who was once as happy as a fish on the stage is looking to sink Adam Hunt here. Let's see what happens in this one. Glenn's going to make his way down to the commentary box to join Chris Murphy. Thank you very much, Henry. It's Jerry to throw first. Jerry Game has on. the darts against Adam Hunt, who is the man, as the boys on the balcony were saying, that everybody is hunting now. 140. For Adam Hunt, Barry Van Peer, and Thibaut Street Cole, both on 16. And we'll play each other at the end of this round of fixtures. So we might start to see some separation. In between, Robert Thornton takes 55. on Scott Winder. If he wins that, he will go on 16 as well. So unless there is a favour done by Jerry Hendricks here, it's looking unlikely that the Scott will climb. We did say at the start of the day that his match against Van Peer might be pivotal. It looks like it's going to turn out that way. But... 59. Who knows? Can Electric Jerry spring a shock? Ninety-two. Ben Durant's just joined me in time for that double pun attack there, and he's almost walked straight back out of the commentary box. 
180. I'm back after that 180 anyway. Never mind the puns. I think Adam has to be very, very careful here. But this is a great response from Adam Hunt. And how many times have we seen players do that recently? Well, this is a different Jerry Hendricks than what we've seen so far. 18 for tops. Double 11. Four. That was a, a kind of... And I mean, requires dead 30. cat maximum from Adam Hunt as well. He intentionally left double fifteen, just wanted to get Owen Binks exercising Angel his vocal cords to make Adam Jerry Hunt. think, and it's paid off for Hunt in the end. Yeah, a lovely fourteen data. Uh, these Say two have become Adam good first. friends the past couple of days as well. But I thought it was a potential banana skin because it was uncharacteristic to see Jerry play so bad in his opening two games. One hundred. And I felt Adam maybe got him at the wrong time, and it was a nice start to the leg from Jerry. What a sublime finish by Adam. 57. Treble 19 will be the next target after blocking the treble 20 bed. I've always found his darts quite interesting, then the actual equipment he uses, right? Really long. Darts, but also pretty bulbous. Usually, bulbous darts tend to be Fair, quite short and stumpy, don't they? But Hunt uses javelins. Yeah, I don't think he tinkers too much as well, Adam. Uh, very simple. The old Dennis Priestley dart, that, that it looks like to me. And 45. Yeah, he's not a real tinkerer. 59. Yeah, we get the... All designs are quite a standard... Straight barrel, but this one, very much as you can see there, the taper right at the bottom, so very plump. Spring very onions, nice. as they used to describe them, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I've, you know, I've never heard that term, but that's absolutely spot on. Well, Adam Hunt has been spot on today so far. 59. Two wins from two. Four, two against Winder. Four, one against Tree Cole, one of his big rivals. And he's full of confidence, Adam. If you know, one hundred and five. Yes, I'm in the best place because I know him so well. But he's never doubted his ability. He knows he's going to be a professional player again. There's no 95. second question. You know, for ninety six. I remember having the wind up. He said, "But I've got twenty years on you, Glenn, and I will win." And that's something that's never gone away from him. Very likable. Right, yeah. Very very nice person to be around. Thirty eight. Seventy-eight, and I mean requiring fifty-eight. So eighteen, and tops, and tops. Game in tops the second for two-nil. Adam Hunt. Well, Jerry Hendricks. It's a much improved performance from him so far, but it's no match the for the league Jerry leader. To first. Yeah, very tall and elegant, isn't he? Is Jerry, but. Has been inactive Whoa, for a long time. 180. I say a long time, but you know, 12 months of not playing regular, regular darts. And then to step on this stage is a tough ask. Whoa, yeah, he's a real peacock of a darts player, isn't he? The way he stands and displays himself. Nine. But the opening 180 couldn't ruffle his opponent's feathers. Forty-three. Amazing, isn't it? How many times they match each other with big visits and then do the same with poorer ones. One hundred and twenty-one. Yeah, for sure, this is the best Jerry's throws been today. Actually, throwing a dart. Adams. Nine, four. What I've never noticed before with Adam is first dart is taken and what this it seems like an age compared to his second and third dart. That's something to he uses that first one, then it's a roll on motion from there. Sixty-five. You just watch the way he brings that dart back. There's a little stop, but the other two, well, it may be here after that first dart. Forty. Jerry required forty. Top cent. For Hendricks to get off the mark, lost 4 0 in his opener against Tebow Treacle. 4 Game on the third 1 Jerry Hendricks. against Robert Thornton. So looking for those incremental improvements game by game. 
We do know that he will play in Group well, C by now, by reversed. the way. So, similar position now to Scott Winder for him, just to try and get his, his game going, increase his confidence levels before tomorrow. Because, let's be honest, 40. you're going to lose three players from this group. It's going to be a more winnable group than Group A was. And by the way, you don't even need to win it. You can finish in the top two. 42. Yeah, I'm just thinking, do you want to go into Group B with another top-notch player from Group A and some good players coming into Group B? Or do you want to be the headline act in Group C, but again, playing 45. on the afternoon? And it's only that two from six ratio for qualification purposes, Group C. Adam Hunt in the background there, just limbering up a little bit. I wonder if he's... 35. Just got a bit of an injury in his leg or something. Just holding the knee. I think sometimes people don't realise certain stances and things can cause all sorts of problems, can't they, physically? When you're stood in an, an awkward position, it can put strain on knees, on backs, and all sorts of things. 60. Yeah, you're throwing the dart well if you're putting a lot of emphasis on that front knee as you see the shot. 125. There's all the, the balance not going there and the, and the back as well because of that elevation elbows 45. shoulders 151 knees and toes is that how it goes cheese on toast 57 on 94 when he comes back and unless Jerry Hendrix has an enormous visit here he'll have plenty of time to take it out 125 and I'm here for 94. It was big, but not big enough. But does still have the luxury of staying for treble 18. No consideration of going for the bolt. At least 76 for double eight for a 3 1 lead. No score. Now that's an absolute darting disaster for Adam Hunt. And it's always in the mind of a player on a big finish. Because he's going to have to do it again. 94. Rather than 46. just coming back for a double. And we have a 194. Treble 17. And he's given Jerry Hendricks a chance here. It might be a big outside 34. chance, but it's a chance all the same. Jerry Rock, and Adam Hunt, who was throwing for a double, still isn't on one. And he's on 60 as well, which is not the easiest out for him. 39. I mean, I mean luckily the scores are 46 and 39, but Jerry should have been putting a lot of pressure on this 60. Is he just tightening up a little bit, Adam Hunt? 40. We saw him yesterday at the conclusion, missed double after double. And the problem you can do is when you see that winning line, you can see him shaking his head. But Jerry just doesn't seem to be in the mood or the confidence to. Seize the opportunity. He can still do it. Yeah, 54. Leaves 50. 84. The 25 found instead, so Adam, Hunt 20. off the hook. Game shot on the floor. Once again, the commentary next door Adam in the players' Hunt. area is certainly better what's coming out of here. They are throwing every dart with Jerry Hendricks right now and Adam Hunt. If you think it's Jerry to the throw first. A victory here for the Dutchman over Adam Hunt would make it very, very interesting. But right now, Chris, I don't know about you, but I'm just picturing 21. an Adam Hunt versus Barry Van Peer for qualification at the end. That would be a, a barnstormer of a match. Yeah, well, the match in two games' time between Thibaut Tricol and Barry Van Peer will really determine which one of them's going to challenge Adam Hunt. That's a live league table. So as long as Hunt gets over the line in this one, he'll have a four-point buffer. They play each other. So one of them will get back to two points behind him. But the other one it effectively is out of the race then. And Robert Thornton, hey, by the one. way, is on 14 points. He plays Scott Winder in the next game. He would get to 16 as well. But again, you're relying on a mathematical miracle from that point, aren't 140. you? 140. 
I think Adam just wants to get this game done because he's got a long break after this. 121. A couple of games to watch before he has a massive game with Robert Thornton. And no one, Adam, I think he'll just sit down and just reflect. He's got to 20. That was job number one when he arrived in the venue. But he knows he's got two monster games to finish. He's just tightening up a little bit for me. Ninety nine, Jerry require one hundred and twenty. Well that's that for Jerry Hendricks and Adam Hunt can mean it's sixty game over and when he comes back hundred required. Just don't bust it, Adam. He'll go tops tops. And Game what a way to finish the match. match. It wasn't vintage Hunt, Hunt, but that is a way to win a game. And for Jerry Hendricks, a much more better performance. But for Adam Hunt, the first man to get to 20 points, he'd be a relieved man to get over the line in that game. It was a potential banana skin, but it's Adam Hunt that moves on to 20 points. He's on the march. Once again, the highest check out of 100 at the end. Outer ring being good again. He goes to 20 points. But up next, it's an all Scottish affair to Robert Thornton. It gets Scott Winder. Welcome back. Adam Hunt is making his move, isn't he? A 4-1 victory against Jerry Hendricks before the break there puts him in prime position, moves him on to 20 points in the group and means that Berry and Tebow are going to have to try and chase him down. Robert Thornton in action up next in this all-Scottish duel against Scott Winder. Watching this one in the commentary box, it is Chris Murphy and Glenn Durrant. Yeah, thank you very much, Henry. 
Yeah, it's been a pretty one-sided affair. Robert Thornton against Scott Winder. Can't take the smile off Scott's face at the moment. Still, you can clearly see he's loving every second. It hasn't gone well for him. First leg, it's Robert he to throw up first. tremendously on Monday morning Game with on. an opening win against Barry Van Peer. But since then, he, he's gone winless. But he hasn't taken that smile off his face. And he, no doubt he'll look up to this man very much. A real 100. Scottish legend in Robert Thornton. Is Robert Thornton beginning to show his best form just a little bit too late? He won't give up, but can only get to 20 points. And when you think that Adam Hunt's on 20 points already, you'd have to think he's fighting for his place in Group B. 100. In a battle of the Scots. 134. Thornton. Yeah, as Glenn said, would need a real charge now to the 45. end of the day. Can get within four points of Hunt, but would be relying on Hunt losing both of his, his, his games, winning both of his, and then Van Peer and Trico slipping up as 54. well. 54. Yeah, he looks more settled. I was talking to him. He's had a very, very busy weekend of exhibitions. Uh, he got here quite late 99. on Sunday, later than he anticipated. Well, maybe he'll just get better during the week. But he said he feels good. He said the match practice, the games there. 57. Just a mixture of Robbie, being up against a very, very tough group and him just not being at his brilliant best. But these are the types of finishes he can do. 117. He's got your record 122. Sixty-one. Yeah, seven, fin seven finishes over a hundred so far for Thornton. So I fancy he that on the first one five leg. seven when he wanted top. But with three darts in his hand, it usually means only one thing, and that's one nil to Thornton. Second against Scott to throw first. Game on. Yeah, when we look at certain doubles for certain players, you think a double top. You think of James Wade. You think of Robert Thornton. And if you can think of any other. For certain doubles, I remember Rob Cross winning his worlds. I think double eighteen. One hundred and forty. I think of the three-time Lakeside champion, former Premier League champion on double sixteen. Whatever happened to him? Well, he kept missing it. That was a problem. I thought you'd wake up. One hundred fourteen. Mensa Sulevich. Yeah. Certainly for a period. 133. Mine was usually double one. Not the one that I hit, just the one I ended up going for the most. I'm surprised you got down to that. 140. Well, I was Sorry, playing 170. You. Just can't get ahead, can I? And now they can Scott wound at the moment. Nice. Seems to be playing so a bit better, averaging very early in this game in the high 90s, but he's just walking into a Thornton masterclass so far. Nine. Yeah, I have to say, we did see Glenn Durant. Requires seventy signs of some really good stuff. Progress certainly at the World Seniors. I think that's fair to say. We'll get his thoughts on that in a minute. But first of all, Winder will try and finish this, which he can on double 42. sixteen. But I mean, requires Thornton twenty-four. We'll be relieved to see it miss. Eighteen. Well, it's not Thornton on double 12, double 6 Scott or double 3, is it? 32. Yeah, this is the bit he's been trying to do. Just reset himself, Scott. Not Just dive into this double. Let's see if it works for him. 42. Well, so far it doesn't, but you can't throw them any better no than score. that. Sometimes you've Robert just got McCormick to say six. unlucky, Scott. Game shot on the Straight second in. leg. Robert Thornton. And a little smile from Scott. Yeah, Thornton, of course, at the World Seniors. It didn't work out for him, but you have mentioned so it briefly, Robert Glenn. But first. what are your thoughts game now that you've had time to reflect on that game with Jim McEwen and, and how you felt being back on the stage? I'm looking at Jerry Hendricks a little bit, and he's lacking match practice. So your game never really deserts you. I mean, the biggest problem I had is my throw deserted me. That's the reason why 59. my game went down. But I made a decision just to 
practice and I've been practicing absolutely brilliant. Um, no one's heard me speak like that for a long time, but I've been playing absolutely marvellous. I genuinely thought I was going to go at the scenes and win it. And I was 250 to one, remember. Aye, Only trainer want... Gulliver was outside, which, you know, I look at that as a part of a, a motivation. I realise how far I've gone down when, you know, I was previously an even money favourite to win a world Four, championship at the Lakeside one. So I knew I could go there and win it for the first time. But Jerry Hendricks this week, for me, is just showing signs that he's not used to playing games. And when I got up there and I heard 42. the word game on, just something inside me. I should have played the ADC competitions, but, you know, there's this, this, this positive signs there. I'm just happy. I'm really happy with everything with the game right now, and hopefully that continues. 140. Yeah, well said. And for those that didn't watch, Glenn was in a very good spot against Jim McEwen. A really good game, actually. Hit a few 180s. One hundred and thirty. Really positive Robbie, signs, and of course, McEwen went on to reach the final. I think that in itself says something. This would say something for Robert Thornton. Eighty. You literally see him bend the wire there, don't you? Really enjoyed time with Robert Thornton. Such a great character. I mean, I guess what a lot of people who are watching today Robert required forty. Is like the players areas in this man. Game show Just like he is on double top. He's Robert Thornton. He's mustard. Fourth leg, it's Scott to throw first. Game on. Nobody's taking the smile off Scott Winder's face, and that has to be commended. I like it. He's loving the chance of being on that stage. He hasn't made it a negative experience. He wants to hit 180s, hence the reason he's not shaking his head there. But 60. He's picking away at his T-shirt there. It is warm. The environment's brilliant up there. And despite the fact he's not winning games... I, I, I think this is going to be 40. good for him moving forward. I hope he has a, gr a good group C. 60. Well, will it be a good group C for 140. Scott Winder? And will it be a good group B for Robert Thornton? Or is there a mathematical twist? Coming up 60. in this group, because he'd actually end up in second place if he wins this 81. one. 4-0, but that is looking less likely after a really stellar leg from Scott here. Double 16, Game wow. Four flag. A dozen darts, and where has that been all week? Well, he's in a church, and he's looking up. It's Robert to throw first. Do you think Game he'll one. go to heaven, Chris? Mm, I'm not sure I know anyone there, to be honest. 100. Well, Scott Winder will hope to give him hell in Group C. If he carries on playing like this in Group C, 100. then... 100. It will be very interesting to see if he can actually turn around what's been a, a bad week into a good one. Don't rule him out. I'm not going to rule him out. Like I said, I'm just, I enjoy hey, watching him. I think he makes mistakes. I think he's got something about him and he certainly knows where that travel 20 bed is and look at the pace he's playing at 180 certainly got a spring in his step all of a sudden and Robert Thornton needs to keep his focus here 91 41 We've been doing lucky likeies in here, haven't we? And who did we see look like yesterday? You said Steve, Steve Douglas, Douglas, yeah, and then got him confused with Carl Douglas. 87. You did. Um, but have you got another one up your sleeve? Is that why you said it? Don't you think a bit of Mike Gregory? More than a bit, actually. Yeah, you're 43. right. 43. Robbie, require 142. Robert Thornton looking like a top dart player again. 95. Scott Rockwell, 137. If he comes back. And he will come back. 43. Robbie Rockwell, 47. For the match. Go it's not the way he went for, but it was a very tidy Robert performance against Thornton. a much improved Scott Winder. And 
Scott will take the positives in that game. And once again, that smile is still there. But it's business for Robert Thornton. A couple of wins on the bounce there for Robert. He does go into second place now on 16 points, but the players behind him do have an extra game to go. But that was a very good game. An all Scottish class, but it was Robert Thornton that takes the 4-1 victory. Massive game pending. Tebow Tricol against Berry Van Pia. Welcome back to the Motor Super Series. Here before the break, Robert Thornton got the better of Scott Winder by four legs to one. Clinical on the finishing, four from nine. The form with a massive victory there. Right, Thibaut Tricol and Barry Van Peer next up for us. This rounds off the third round of fixtures for the day and a big game for both players as far as the league table is situated. They're both on 16 points in the league standings. The victor will move within two of Adam Hunt. Right, let's get into this one. In the commentary box for this is Glenn Dunn and Chris Murphy. Yeah, thank you very much, Henry. This is a real big, big game. Both players sat in a very nice position to attack Adam Hunt. Thibaut Tricol has already played Adam, whereas Berry, if he can win this game, could have a real potential blockbuster of a final game against Adam Hunt, which could determine first the leg winner of this. Thibaut to throw you first. can't overlook the Frenchman. Game on. And it's a Frenchman that's had the better of Berry so far in the head-to-head. -head, two, four, three victories. And at times he's looked really good hey, for us. He won. Yeah, and, and they won't rule out catching Hunt either. He, of course, he's won all three of his matches so far to date. But Whoa, he plays this man, and before that, he plays Robert Thornton. And he looks rejuvenated. He's now definitely throwing his best darts and yeah, planning 100. his attack for the next phase, I guess. 
So 180 for BVP to start off his game with TT. No, T6. Might need an SOS. 140. Well, that was a WT. I won't actually go there, no. 125. Now, just the way I'm picking up is this. They both realise how important this game is. There just seems Very to be required. something 100. about them. And it's been a terrific start from both players. This for a potential 11 data for Berry. Yeah, one on tops after 12. The other looking to leave a double here. And he has left a double, double 14. 72. Do we require 40? Quality leg of darts. Now it's just about the execution of the double. And Game that's just as good. T-bone trigger. for the Frenchman. Yeah, he's been solid as well today. T-bone trico, 1-4-0 against Second Jerry Hendricks. But then went down 4-1 to Adam Hunt. Fifty-eight damaged by his title rival. He cannot afford to be damaged by another one. Yeah, it was an incredible game between them yesterday, wasn't it? Seventy. One of these players is going to be two points away from Hunt. The other one's probably going to be thinking that it's a bridge too far if they lose this match. Fifty-eight. Yeah, the thought of one of these two players being in Group C. But one of them is, and the way Thornton's playing right now, he just seems to be peaking at the right time. We could see a lot of the players in Group A here on Saturday night. I think, actually, even though they're on the 71. same points, Hunt would probably like Treacle to win this game, wouldn't he? Because having already seen him off and not having to play him and having a much better leg difference than him, that would be the favourable chaser, rather than Barry Van Peer, who would have a similar leg difference by the time the match has ended if he wins it. And, of course, we'll take legs off him if he does beat him. So, I 56. Think Hunt will be waving his French flag in the practice room right now. 140. The Frenchman in this one is flying. 100. He may require 60. Yeah, it's been super. It was a 14 dart to warm it up. And this dart here to join that. Just has a nervous look at this opponent's score. Game shot in the second leg. Need to panic because that is beautiful. 14 dart followed by a 15 dart which equates to 103.66 average. A brilliant so start from this So look at T-Bone to first. Game on. Yeah, really good stuff. Three ton, three one forties. 50% strike rate on the doubles. Barry Van Peer's only thrown one dart. 85. The double. One hundred. Yeah, that's the problem when you start looking at potential games at the end. The more the Super Series doesn't often go as, as planned and as you think, there's usually a twist and turn somewhere. And Tebow is 93. presenting that at the moment because this is pretty dominant so far. And look at the numbers. They're only going one way for him. 140. And that way is up. Barry Van Beer has his hands full. It's always nice to see your score and how it affects averages. 142. people that we talk to on social media... Do like the averages, 142 here. Had the luxury of going for the smallest target, the bullseye there, because it could have laid up. 84. I didn't write this conclusion, Chris. Do we require 58? Yeah, it's been a quick fire thrashing of his opponent so far. 38. But in matches like this, there are moments that change them. And Very a couple of misses at top has given Berry Van Peer the chance for a champagne shot here. And the Frenchman may well have his champagne on ice right now. 
Oh, shake of the head from Tebow. Berry's just taking his time here, which he does when he's on a finish. We're looking at the centre of the ball. He can still do it with treble 19. I really wanted him to hit that because that bull would have been so hard. We've seen him produce wonder darts like that in the past here at the Super 64. Series. 64. But I wanted to see to him have a go at that bullseye 20. having put probably the worst possible dart in front of it. Double five. Game on the third leg. And that could be a big, big moment, not just in this match, but in this group. It looks like it will be Tebow Trico chasing down Adam Hunt at the top of the table. He's something for you. Yesterday at the same position, it was Berry Van Pier 3. 58. Tebow Trico nil. And it was an incredible fight back. Yeah, good point. Trico then won four on the spin, capped off with... A brilliant one three six finish. One hundred and forty. One hundred and thirty five. One hundred and forty. The timing at the moment for table is just an absolute joy to watch. 95. I think if we look at the percentage of how much we've spoken about players, he will be right at the bottom because he just quietly but effectively gets on with a job. 100. And not many people will beat Barry Van Pia 4-0. Perhaps Scott Winder, that is. Yeah. 46. I mean, he may even look at that result as the one that cost him. And you consider it's the only match that Winder's won. It was the first one of the week. 97. What a classic we last start. 167. 147. Oh, is this the tungsten tide turner? 142. Well, he couldn't Tibor make a wave, only a ripple. And now Trico will have the chance to complete an astonishing win. It's a sensational win. Ooh la la from Tivo Tricol. 4 0 victory over the all so impressive Barry Van Pier as he put pay to his chances. And maybe, just maybe, the big winner there was Adam Hunt because he's already played Tivo Tricol and put him in a fantastic position. But the, all about the Frenchman. Just look at those numbers 98.56, a whitewash win. Excellent on the outer ring. Super, super darts on Tivo. And next up, it is top of the table, Adam Hunt, in a massive clash again against Robert Thornton.
Welcome back to the Super Series. Big result before the break for Thibaut Tricol, who got the better of Berry Van Peer by four legs to nil. That could have a seismic impact on the table. But before we have a look at that, this is what's happened so far today, because prior to that, we saw Robert Thornton get the better of Scott Winder by four legs to one, and Adam Hunt get the better of Jerry Hendricks by the same scoreline. So those are the results. This is how it correlates in terms of the league standings. Two more rounds of fixtures to go then here at the live lounge in in Portsmouth. Adam Hunt has got himself into a two-point lead with those couple of rounds to go over the French touch. Thibaut Tricol, who realistically is the man that can keep him at bay. However, Robert Thornton can, with a victory here, move two within two points of the table top. So, big couple of games coming up here at the live lounge in Portsmouth. A big round coming up here. And watching this one in the commentary box is Glenn and Chris. It's Henry, yeah, he can move within two points with a win, but defeat would mean that Robert Thornton would be out of that race. The Scotsman would not be able to catch Adam Hunt at the top of the table. The Hunter would not be hunted by the Thorn, as he can only get to 20 points as things are, but he can keep Adam Hunt there by beating him here. So it is do or die for Thornton in terms of winning the group and securing the Saturday spot from this group. Uh, but also a victory, Glenn, may be very important in his bid for Group B. And, and he's coming into great form right now, Adam Robert Thornton. I guess he'd be frustrated. He saved Game his on. best till after that defeat he had where when Barry Van Peer beat him about an hour ago, we knew then it was going to be tough, but just look at the permutations, the calculations, no, he's, he's still said... involved. And it'd be typical Thornton, wouldn't it, to produce something, but Adam Hunt just looked a different animal this week. He's so so impressed and hey, massive game, won. huge game and uh, yeah if it, if Adam gets to do this then he's a a big big favourite even if Thornton wins it's still not quite in his hands but when you look hey, at the fixtures he might feel like it is you know because he plays both the players above him in the table Adam Hunt and Thibaut Trico so he can get to 20 points now Adam Hunt plays Barry Van Peer who could well beat him so he would stay on 20 points. Thornton could beat both of those players and get to 20 himself. In fact, if that happens and Treacle beats Scott Winder, there'd be a three-way tie on 20 points at the top of the table. Forty-five. Leg difference would separate the players on that, just to put you in the picture of how it all breaks down if that were to occur. Points, of course, first, then leg difference, then... Legs won, and if they still can't be separated, we go on their overhaul head-to-head -head wins. Now, in Group A, there will be a clear winner from that because they'd have played three times an odd number. One in Group C and D, you go to legs won, B and C, sorry. Legs won in head-to-head -head matches, and then it can end up on averages. 17, though, here for Hunt, who wants tops to take away any of this kind of 62. Robbie, require permutation painting. Adam Hunt wins. Thornton's out of the race, and he's sitting pretty, isn't he? Yeah, if Adam Hunt doesn't win this group, he might look at this match between them 40. yesterday. Adam, you're required a real Bizarre ending. He had dart after dart to win it. He's got an opportunity for a little bit of a revenge. Adam Hunt. And I think you can throw averages out the window in this game. It is just purely about the two points, but it's a nice solid start from Adam. Second against Robert to throw first. Data. That'll game do nicely on throw. Yeah, he's the one who does have it in his hands. And if he wins this match... 140. Not only would Robert Thornton be out of the race, but so would Barry Van Peer. 140. As Hunt would be on 22, Van Peer would be six behind with only two to play, including one of against him, but it wouldn't matter by then. Yeah, the fact he's got a good leg difference over Tibor Tricol. You feel like this is a, a major, major moment for Adam Hunt. Yeah, Tricol would need to win two. Hope Hunt lost his last one to Van Peer and overturn a leg difference deficit, as Glenn just said. So it's either going to be a really close run thing or Adam Hunt can pretty much make it his own in this match. It looks like it's going with draw so far. Robert Thornton, it's his to lose from here in this leg. Treble seven. A big 14 to leave his favourite tops.
96. Robbie required 40. Double top then for Thornton. Double 10. Game shot on the second leg. Robert snarl Thornton. from the Scotsman. He means business. Also tells me he knows the scenario here as well. There's part of me thinking, does Robert realise he well, can still Adam qualify? Well, Game on. he's been here eight times before, so he probably knows all the numbers, the calculations. But the way he reacted there, the importance of a win here for him. 58. And how a match can turn is that huge. That pendulum clock of the Moda Super Series. Adam was beginning to look good after that first leg, and all of a sudden now, now he's gone treble. 100. Thornton has a chance to break. So this is the scenario as it stands right now with this game on their fixtures. If Hunt wins it, he'll move to 22. If Thornton wins it, he'll stay on 20. And Thornton will join Treacle on 18. And of course, Treacle would have that game in hand to try and join Adam Hunt on 20. And Thornton will be trying to get there himself. 24. But a win for Hunt. 22 points. Thornton out of the picture. Berry Van Peer, who's in fourth place out of the picture and a real tough task for Tre Thibaut Treacle. 100. I like that from Adam. It's not going right for him here, so he's just taking two or three seconds there just to get his thoughts together. 59. But once again, Trebleus Thornton just beginning to take control. Perfect first start. Look at Adam Hunt in the background, limbering up. 139. Him holding his knee in the previous match. It was full pre-match style stretches. It's either the fact he's just 85. he's feeling it. Robbie he's just trying to release 62. all the tension or any tension that's in that body right now. Well, he better pay attention to what Robert Thornton's doing here because he could find himself broken. 42. And he still might, because Hunt hasn't left a finish after 15. Thirty-two. Robbie required twenty. No score. As I mentioned earlier, when they played Robbie yesterday, Hunt had dart after double after double after double. But the missed doubles from Thornton. Adam Hunt can't capitalise on just yet. Another chance for Thornton 94. for a break of throw. Robert required 20. And a 2-1 lead. Game shot in the third. And that's what he gets. Robert Thornton. And the fight to Thornton. is jabbing away. Don't know if he had a little word there. Adam Four Hunt found something Robert amusing. First. It must Game be an entertaining watch when you're the, the player with Robert Thornton because he doesn't leave you guessing how he's feeling or what he's thinking, does he? I didn't play him an awful 100. lot. But, and I don't remember certain games where I remember a, last, a double 19 to beat him. If you look on our head-to-head, -head and I remember a 6-5 a game in a players' championship and he never shut up. He never shut up. And I thought, in the Pro Tour, you're not meant to talk. Well, 100. It pains me to say it, but I have looked at the head-to-head -head and it's got Endurant 2, Robert Thornton 0. What was one of them? 6-5? Six, 6-5 five? Six, five in yeah. Barnsley. 100. Players' Championship 7 in 2020. But you also beat him, Glenn, 6-4 in the last 16 of Players' Championship 2 in Wigan that year. And you went on to reach the final. What a player. I think that was your... First weekend as a PDC professional. 57. Right. Robbie, we're going 161. Yeah, I remember my first game. Alan Tab and Thornton for 161. He'll go back upstairs. I think he would like winning that match, and Chisnell took out a 170 in the final and kept himself in it. Other way around. Oh, was it the other way around? I didn't think you were capable, but there you go. So you delayed the, delayed the defeat, but then you came back the next weekend and won. Is that right? The next pro two, right. yeah. Dimitri well, Vandenberg was sixty-four. It? Anyway, those were of, the days. Enough about me. I get told off about talking about myself. It's tops for Thornton for three-one. Game shot on the fourth. Yeah, he's making all his own Robert noise. Letting Thornton. his darts do the talking. And now this group is getting interesting. 
Fifth leg, show you Adam that to throw in first. play table again. Game on. Robert Thornton, if he goes on to win this match, will be hot on the heels of Adam Hunt. But look at that leg difference. If he wins this leg, he'd be in 41. front by a couple on leg difference. Of course, still two points behind. But don't forget, Adam Hunt's last game is Barry Van Peer. That's tricky. 70. What a story this would be if Thornton does top the group. Be like a horse race or an athletics race where someone has just not been it until the final stride. Hey, you do right want... now, while the horses are labouring at the front, we have got a horse galloping right behind, and that man is Robert Thornton. Gosh, you were seeing off the Scots that day. One more bit about you, but you also beat Peter Wright and John Henderson in that run. 11. I'm all depressed now. Don't cry because it's over, Glenn. Smile because it happened. 140. It won't be over. Like that. Yeah. I've seen you practicing. I've seen you uh, produce perfection in practice. Speaking of perfection. 140. Thornton almost got it in that visit, but Adam Hunt still very interested in this leg and this match. Yeah, and just a defence for Adam Hunt. He would have the darts in two of the last three legs if it goes in distance. 97. He will have to break Thornton to win it. He's looking good for this leg. Yeah, plenty of options on 142. It's been quite on vogue to go treble 17 here. Yeah, it's not for me, but certainly is for Adam. Seventy-four left. We should look at treble 14. 110. Perfectly pitched. 140. Perfectly pitched. Will he go tops, tops? Oh, perfectly pitched. And it was almost perfectly pitched. And I mean, required 32. We both stepped up about out of our seat there. It's easy for me to say. Game shot in the fifth. 3 2. Adam Hunt is continuing to fight, but Robert Thornton has had a dart for this match. Will that be on his mind? Because the most important thing to do right now for Robert Super Thornton, Robert to and he's doing exactly Game. that. He knows the situation. He's got the darts. He's just simply thinking, just give me a 15 darter. Make my opponent hit a 12. 57. Chance for Hunt. Fifty-five. Drifting across Robert Thornton. He's a stubborn old Scot. Won't switch if he can help it. Yeah, it's the British Open and British Classic in Bridlington this weekend, and that's the first time I ever saw Robert Thornton play. One hundred and forty. It was the year uh, John Henderson beat Gary Anderson in the final, and Robert was absolutely. Fantastic on the floor then, and 100. he's had an unbelievable career. But it was interesting hearing him talking that the Motor Super Series is right high on his priority list right now. Well, he was tempted by that marker there, Adam. Forty-one, but it may have been wise to have come away and gone back upstairs. He'll probably persevere with the nineteens, having left 40. two six five. Robert Thornton had the match in his hands there. Well, that score of 40 just brings back Adam Hunt. It'll start downstairs. Just one treble gets him to a finish. 57. Can't do it. So six starts for Thornton to wrap it up. And this is a victory that would turn this into a grandstand finish. 124. He doesn't fancy the finish. He fancies tops. Of course he does. No bull from Robert Thornton. Said it at the start of the day, because I'd never write him off. 40. It would be some story, wouldn't it? Typical Thornton. And Group Game A has just got very, very interesting. Robert it's a big, Thornton. big win for Robert Thornton. Over top of the table, Adam Hunt. It was a great game of darts, but the Scot is just peaking at the right time. Interesting times over the next hour. Who's going to win Group A? We still have absolutely no idea. But next up, it's Berry Van Peer against Jerry Hendricks.
Right, another tryst before the break as Robert Thornton got the better of Adam Hunt by four legs to two. And it keeps the Scotsman in the race for that top place in the league standings. He's on 18 points. Same as Thibaut Dracol. Adam Hunt at the top of the table on 20. Uh, Bay Van Peer here with victory against Jerry Hendricks. Well, he would put himself back in the equation. He'd move himself onto 18 points. And he plays Adam in the first of the final round worth of fixtures. So it's Berry versus Jerry. Who's going to be merry? It's a very warm welcome to the commentary box to Glenn and Chris. And you expect me to follow that, do you, Henry? But yeah, expertly said in a sense that Barry Van P is still very much in the running. Still going to be a tough ass, but yeah, we've got the calculators out, the fingers and toes, but it was all in the hands of Adam Hunt. But big, big victory there. Big twist to the proceedings by first Robert Thornton. First Barry to throw first. Game on. Barry Van P. Yeah, try to bounce back, and it was a difficult loss. It was a heavy loss to Thibaut Tricol. But he has 60. the opportunity to get straight back on against Jerry Hendricks, who's had a, a day to forget, let's just say that. However, he did show some signs against Adam Hunt that he's beginning to settle today, but the 60. opening two games were so unlike Jerry. It was going so right for Adam Hunt, you're right, and it could all go so wrong. There's still a remarkable scenario in which he could end up in Group 57. C. 57. Because Berry Van Peer could win both of his matches, including beating Hunt in that last one, get to 20. And Thibaut Tree Cole, well, he could get 66. to more than that, couldn't he? Because he's got two games left. He could beat Scott Winder to get to 20 and then beat Robert Thornton to get to 22. 85. Oh, sorry, he could get to 20 and Thornton could beat him to get to 20. That's what I meant to say so you could end up 140. actually with leg difference separating them all yes and less than half an hour ago we talked about potential winner takes all between van peer and hunt and all of a sudden thornton is he favorite 90 Well, Hendricks has got to have finished first in this one. Barry Van Peer knows he has to win his last two Barry matches Robert to have any chance. 45. That's the equation for him and rely on other things happening. 121, Barry Rick, 104. Double 14. Game shot in the first leg. Different Barry way for going at 104. So many players are now leaving that double 14, including Barry Van Peer. So can I get Jerry to throw first? Game on. I'm trying my hardest not to call him Barry Van Peer or Larry, I've said today. I have just crunched the numbers, and it is possible at this point, Glenn. Hey, it's you won. Four players could be tied on 20 points at the end of this group. So you'd have one of them winning it and one of them going through to group C. 100. Well, that must be a first, surely. And there's not an awful lot in the leg difference. Say Berry Van Peer wins this game 4-1 or 4-0, then there's only going to be four legs separating the top four as well. So those games in that last little stretch now, Berry Van Peer against Adam Hunt, and Thibaut Treacle against Robert Thornton are going to be vitally, vitally important. Treacle, of course, has to play Scott 26. Winder before that. Then it's Van Peer Hunt. Then Treacle Thornton. And then the really big one at the end of the day, Jerry Hendricks against Scott Winder. 100. Yeah, and no, all joking aside, that would obviously be another clash. That'll be Group C, so there'll be plenty to play for in that game. Yeah, bragging rights to get one up on no, your opponent. Do you believe in that kind of thing? A bit of one-upmanship. The fact it's the last game of the day as well and they'll be back tomorrow afternoon, it could be the opening game of tomorrow. So, 90. Yes, I think there is something on that game, absolutely. And and especially for Scott Wind, he doesn't want to finish his campaign on two points and to at least finish on a win. 90. But winning his They're first game and winning his last game in the Group A standings. Can be used that, 39. but he's been unable to do so in this old Dutch battle. Eighty-nine. 
89. Been no Barry joy for 32. Gary today. 4 0 defeat to open and then 2 4 Games 1. on the second leg. Barry Van Peer. And now he's 2 0 behind against Barry Van Peer. It must be a strange dynamic in the practice room to have four players so fighting it out and then first. these two other blokes just not involved in that battle at all. There's a couple of tables in the place here, yet they're all sat round the one table 100. and they're chatting away. We can hear them next door. It's been one of them groups where it's just been friendly there. Definitely not when they're on the stage. We've seen fist bumps galore. 100. And people showcasing the talents and their personalities, but There'll be plenty of chatter in there. It's got a lot of experience, so they'll know exactly what's going on. The league table's in there, so there'll be people working out what they need to do. But whether they know that they can all finish on 20 points is another thing. 140. Well, Berry knows that's the best he can do. 96. Well, but Thornton knows it's the best he can do, but... Thibaut Tricol and Adam Hunt both know they can do better than that, and that can take the others out of the equation. 79. 94. Yeah, it's a much better performance from Jerry Hendricks. But he's still 2 0 down. Twenty-six. How do I do it? We record one hundred and fifty-four. <laughs> yeah. Don't say anything when someone's going for a a match start, Glenn. 57. I think you will start getting the blame. We record one hundred and fifty-six. One five six. I've actually got a message from Dim and Hetta. Please don't ever say I'm going to win a tournament again. Eighty. Very record ninety-seven. Well, this is well poised, this leg. 97 is a trickier finish than 76. He's going to be double 19 here to tee up tops. 77. Almost pulled it off. Henry Hendricks doesn't 76. need a treble or a double-double. A couple of singles will get him a go at a double. Or a treble will get him two darts. Game shot the and he halves there. the deficit, but Jerry not only Hendricks. that, he's just broken Barry Van Peer. Yeah, I like this version of Jerry well, Hendricks. It Jerry was a, to a tough watch Game. very early today. Like I said, there's not an awful lot wrong with that stance and balance. And you know, forty. Look at the side on view of the throws. Very different. Obviously, the the height in both players, but look at the lean there. From stands very much to the left as Berry. So definitely not a traditional 58. way of throwing a dart. Where is Jerry? His side on view. Look how elegant, how tall the size of that. So all I'm looking at there I'm, is the much body movement. 60. Not a great deal, but I'm not 100% happy with a full follow-through of his arm. It wants to be a lot more relaxed. But that is just so different to what you'll see. So 58. far to the... Very much like Bunting is, Stephen Bunting is, but on the other side of the hockey. But just... Uh, can you see the way he's spinning his fingers at the end? Them fingers should be touching the floor. And he's kicking 66. away. You can see him just... Pointing to the right hand wall at the end. Yeah, you see with Barry what Glenn's talking about. Not quite touching the floor, but 58. going in that direction. Hmm. Well, we have a couple of Dutchmen on the 60. stage and on the screen. News coming out that the PDC are going to do a Dutch Darts Masters World Series event. I'm just thinking it's not beyond the realms of possibility that Barry Van Peer in January might be in it. If he does some good stuff on, on the big TV stages before then, who knows? 90. He could be there in Den Bosch alongside the likes of Raymond Van Barneveld and Michael Van Gerwen. Ninety-eight. Yeah, the PDC calendar's out and many players who have played in the Moda Super Series will be just starting their preparations, very early preparations now for the back end of the year. Oh, wow. 20. Well, that's back to what you were saying yesterday, very Glenn, required, when you're 97. struggling at the bottom. Those kind of things go wrong, don't they? Yeah, feels like the only bounce-outs that we remember are 
Jerry and Scott is double ten. Game show number four. You want the Barry Van Pier. Barry Van straight forward. Fifth leg, it's Barry to throw first. Game on. So still to come, Scott Winder against Thibaut Tricol. One of two games left for the Frenchman. Who is on 18 points 95. in this group. Robert Thornton between them on 18 points. His other opponent between him and Adam Hunt, that is, who's top on 20. Barry Van Peer would also be on 18 if he wins this game ahead of his match 48. with Hunt. And it's only a couple of games away as well, so there'll be a, a short turnaround for the Dutchman. 140. Yeah, I just get the sense that Barry can... Just turn, put the afterburners on whenever he wants to. I mean, it's not the case, but he just seems to maybe just see that winning line and it just all of a sudden just kicks in from there. Right now, he just looks tremendous. Downstairs. 105. I'm not really sure of the value of that shot there, Glenn. Yeah, you'll read my mind hey, there, Chris. Won. Very record 161. No real difference between 161 and 167, but maybe he just fancies it. 83. Yeah, pretty disgusted with that three, wasn't he? And let us all know. But it looks like it's job done for Barry Van Pier. Just 78 points away from a pretty straightforward victory, you have to say, against a, a more improved Barry Jerry Hendricks. 78. But just not up to the standard of Barry. Is it time for Berry to bury Jerry? It is. Vampire gets the victory. Berry the Vampire. 4 1 success that keeps him in the hunt. And that is a pretty important victory. He joins Robert Thornton and Thibaut Trico on 18 points, all two points behind the league leader, Adam Hunt. A good performance from Vampire, a 4 1 win, and he'll take on Hunt in a couple of games' time. Before that, Treacle will look to go level at the top when he faces Scott Winder. Welcome back to the Motors Super Series, where before the break, Berry, Berry, Jerry. Yeah, that's easy to say. He won by four legs to one in that particular encounter, including four out of nine on the doubling, finishing off with a 15 dart leg. As far as the table is concerned, it means that we've got Adam Hunt on 20 points and then three players just in behind on 18. And one of them is Thibaut Tricol, who can move on to 20 points with victory here against Scott Winder. Um, watching this one in the commentary box, it is Glenn. And Chris.
Yeah, thank you, Henry. Yeah, it's all about this man in your picture, T-Board, to recall, sat on 18 points, just the two points behind Adam Hunt, our leader. So we just have two games to play, the Frenchman. Like I said, so much is going to be happening over the next 60 minutes. So many players who can still qualify, so many players who can end up in fourth place for Group C. I don't think any of the four will fancy that. First leg, it's it Scott coming to back first. tomorrow afternoon rather Game than tomorrow on. night. But the Group B is three from five, so you'd fancy your chances if you're playing as well as the guys out the front. And for this man in your picture, it's all been about 36. learning lessons this week. He will look back at a difficult Group A campaign, but I'm sure when he first saw the group, Chris, and he thought that is a a 24. tough start for his Motor Super Series career. Yeah, absolutely. And I think he'll, actually, despite only getting one victory, and it may even remain that way, although you look at that match, the last one against Jerry Hendricks is very winnable for Winder on the evidence we've seen today. But I look at that Group C, and I think that it's such a different kind of group to, to what he's been in 60. this week. He's got to just start again, refocus. And I'm not counting him out of being top two in that group. It might sound mad. He, he, hey, he plays 15 matches and only wins one of them and gets two points. But I'm just looking at the names in that group. And I think that any of those players could be in the top two. 140. I would actually probably make your old pal, Rob Grundy, a favourite to 140. top it based on what I've seen from the players here in the past. But you've got... Martin Turner. 60. He's got it wrong. 140. Carl Snade, I think is the correct pronunciation, but I will get that checked. 60. And then, of course, the bottom three from this group. There will be a big hitter in the group. That's the only thing. Could be Thibaut Trico. Could be Adam Hunt. 139. Yeah, that would be He's incredible. Got it 80. That would be an incredible return if Adam does finish in fourth because he's literally been leading the whole way. Tops for Winder. 60. Timmy requires 78. Double 10. Accidental hit on top. 68. Couldn't so find double 10. 20. And now Winder will aim at himself. Now, look, we've been saying you know, maybe he can beat Jerry Hendricks. Maybe he can beat Thibaut Trico. Yeah, totally different approach to the double this time, Scott. Normally, he's already thrown his three darts. Game shot on the first leg. Just Scott Winder. I felt on the highlight of yesterday, he just needs a little bit of composure. Very quick when he's on the score and wouldn't change anything so about that because his rhythm's first. great. But when he just gets down to that double, I think it's really important that he just takes his time and I think that was demonstrated in them three darts there. Ninety-six. It's going to be an interesting end to the day. 100. Remember, Van Pier faces Hunt next. Now, Van Pier could potentially fifty-nine win that match and still find himself behind Adam Hunt in the table. He wins it. 100. 4-2 or 4-3, that will be the case. So Barry Van Pier to put himself in provisional pole will have to win 4-1 or 4-0 against Adam Hunt. 160. That would have been for the best finish of the week. 100. Thibaut Trickle wants to win this match by as big a margin as possible, so he doesn't have such a task against Robert Thornton. Eighty one. Requires sixty. Thornton might be the one that sneaks into top place right at the end. Would be unbelievable. Forty. Yeah, well, a little nervous look by Draco, wasn't it? But no need to worry yet because Scott's left a bogey. Ninety nine. Tibo required twenty. Fifteen. Now, Scott, there is need to 66. be nervous. Yeah, he's a bit like a rabbit in the headlights when he wanted a double previously, Scott. But he's working on something because 
He has definitely taken his time. Now he's got down to a finish. It was aiming for 42 there. It's 33 off. He's halved his score. So double 16. Game oh, on the second wow. leg. But before Winder. this match, there was an argument that Thibaut Treacle was in the best position, despite being in fourth on the table, because he so like Scott had two games. First. Game on. One of them against Scott Winder, the other against Robert Thornton, and could get to, to 22 points. Adam Hunt's got that really tough game against Barry Van Peer, so Treacle could have really... 58. Enhanced his leg difference and his points tally right now. There's not a thought about leg difference. It's just about trying to win this match, even if it's 4-3. And, and that might be a good thing. That might be the fact that he just starts again from now. Why am I thinking about the permutations? Just let them look after themselves. He's probably saying, let's just 45. win this match. I've played him twice previously, beat him twice. Why am I making hard work? Well, the one thing I have noticed there is, they say Scott Wind. I don't have any 100. doubt he can score with, with these players. I just love the fact he's still got that smile on his face. It just seems to have been working on how to finish games. And so far, so good in this match. This part what? of the game, absolutely fine. Yeah, there's an interesting event happening now. That 180 from Winder puts more pressure on Tree Cole. And he may have to do what he did yesterday and come back from 3-0 behind. Hasn't been a single 4-3 today. There were nine on Tuesday here. Not one in this group today. 58. Do you think there's anything in that? Or was it just one of them days yesterday where it was so competitive? One hundred. Well, yeah, it's difficult to, to say because if they, if they were going to go to the death today, you would think those meetings between the top four would go like that, but they haven't panned out that way. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. One hundred. He may require 76. You feel this has to go the way Scott's now hitting his doubles. And that's not the star. Treble 19. You can't do it. Scott Winder, 40. arguably, he's got he two darts at tops for a 3 0 lead. Can he stay straight on the first dart? He can. Big dart. Yeah. Game shot on the third. Get in, he shouts. Scott Winder. The shocks continue to go on. We were writing our own conclusions. Our old players could finish on 20 points, never thinking that Tebow could lose this game. Well, he's Tebow demolished Scott first. previously this week. Look at that score line. And he could end up a bridge too far here. 100. If it carries on going wrong for Thibaut Trecol, he's going to put himself in the perilous position of not only being two points off top of the table, but also... 58. ...being eight legs behind him. What if he does lose this game and loses it heavily? Not even, not there to be seen. 99. So even if 140. Adam Hunt was beaten 4 0 by very Barry Van Pier and Thibaut Treacle beat Robert Thornton 60. 4 0, it still wouldn't be enough because the leg difference that Adam Hunt had lost would go to Barry Van Pier, so he'd then be ahead of him. So Thibaut Treacle, 58. if he loses this next leg, can't top the table. Wow. One hundred and twenty. Saving grace for Tebow. He has been three nil down this week and won a game. You do go back to that memory bank. You do think you can see him deep in thought right now. He can't believe what's happening. Forty one. So we've got one hundred and twenty two. Defense for him is the fact that Scott has not. Felt winning a game for a long time, and it's difficult, really difficult to 54. end that run. You start overthinking, getting excited, and this has been a poor leg from Scott this time. 130, 40, Is there a, a way back here for Tebow? Double two. Game oh, he sneaks it in just under the wire. Tebow Trico. Remember, there was a really... Pivotal contest yesterday when Thibaut Trico was 3-0 down first. against Game Barry Van Pier, and he managed to turn it around. He won it 4-3. He took out a 1-3-6 in the final leg. 140. Let's 
be something about Scotsman like to chat away, he's chattering away, isn't he? Very Robert Thornton. One hundred. Again, just taking his time on the approach. Fifty-eight. Ninety-seven. The Frenchman fights on. Looking for a couple of trebles to leave the finish first. Forty-four. The same now required of three Colt. Yeah, if we look at the perfect characteristics of a dark player, then 41. fighting quality is one of them. And if we were playing top trumps, that would be a real good score for Tebow. So he's never out of a match. I expected more from him on them, them three darts there. It's a big chance for Scott Winder. 99. We now know he won't be completely ruled out if he loses this match because he could mathematically make up the leg difference and points tally required. However, he really will know he needs to win it realistically. 93. And there. It's got your require 160. He's left himself the biggest finish of the lot. 100. And he, he might have to take it out. That was a stunning last out from Scott Winder. And fair play to him. He's never once let his head go down. He's always looked like he's enjoyed the experience. And he's 60 Scott points away. 60. But a big, big shock. Double 10. 40. Well, the closer Tebow gets, the more chance he gets. And he's playing a man, remember, who hasn't won. In his last 12 matches. And it 34. can be hard to cross the line when you're not used to it. But he's going to get another go. 20. But he looks a little fidgety. You can see him doing everything there. He just needs to compose himself. He hasn't had that winning feeling for a long time. Not since the first game on Monday. 15. And he's still not going to enjoy it yet. So require 40. Is there a huge, huge twist in this tale? Well, Winder winning. Look like a real twist. That's a real mess. And he can't Eight. escape. It's going to require five. And I don't have a lot of confidence on this opening first out, but Scott, he just looks so fidgety. Can he get over the winning line? One. So well, Tebow Treacle has been tiptoeing across the tungsten tightrope for all of this match. Game shot on the but yet, flag. He still Tebow manages Treacle. to fall on the safety net. Winder could not put him away. Sick leg, it's Tebow to the right. A right smile first. from the Frenchman. He Game knows on. there that he really has got away with this, but he could force the day's first decider and could be on the brink of the second great escape victory of this week. 140. I would even say he was favourite for this match because he just doesn't look like getting over the winning line, does he? You can see how uneasy 100. he was just going with them winning darts and... I know what it feels like to be on a long run. And when you finally get that chance, to, you're not used to winning the, the hey, matches. Won. And all of a sudden, you forget how you do it. And yeah, it was a difficult watch for Scott Winder. 140. Sixty. Just get the sense that this is now turning Tebow's way, don't you? If Winder couldn't win it with all those match darts, 57. can he win it with any? 100. Well, needs to stay straight. That's the, the minimum requirement, but getting a treble is a bonus there. He's very much a first dart merchant, is Winder, isn't he? 100. Is that late like rock and roll motion when he gets it right is good. But it's round about now you you fear from him, but it's a chance for Tricol. 
Game shown the sick flag. And from absolutely Team nowhere, he was dead and buried. Once again, nothing stops the smile on Scott Winder's face, but Tebow to Seventh call. from final leg, it's Scott Yesterday, it was 3-0 first. behind. Barry Van Vieren had the comeback of the week. Is Lightning going to strike twice? One hundred. He's still very enthusiastic, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, good day out. But it's got winder. And Tebow's only scored sixty. Let's not forget, Winder has the darts in this decider. If we forget about everything that's happened, the fact he's missed all those match darts, the fact that he was three 0 up, it's a leg of darts. To win a match in which he has the throw. But you don't think that when you're up there. It sounds 100. so easy when you say it like that, and you're absolutely correct. But his mind will be a mush. He's had it in the palm of his hands. What he's got to think is if I have a chance this 100. time, I ain't going to miss it. But it's just your mind's playing games with you. But this is a fantastic leg of darts from Scott. Yeah, and he is going to be on a finish first because Tricol needed the full house 60. there. And he's hardly got anything. So six starts from here to send shockwaves through this group. 140. 10 out of 10 for enthusiasm and fight. And he's now three darts away for a it's famous victory. You feel for him. It's been a tough, tough group here campaign, but he has never given up. He approaches the hockey. Game shot and at Winder the match. plays a blinder. Scott Winder. As he beats Thibaut Tricot. A very difficult loss there for the Frenchman, but once again, magnanimous in defeat. But Scott Winder, such a difficult, difficult group here campaign. But look at him, absolutely delighted with that victory. And fair play to him. That's all the effort he's put into that. And wow, what does that do to the table? What it does mean is that we go into the final game very much all to play for. And the next game is huge. Barry Van Peer versus Adam Hunt. Don't miss it. Welcome back to the Motor Super Z. Hello, Glenn. I don't often see you up here at this point in the day. Great to have your company. So four rounds of fixtures down and a very important round to come. Uh, that is, is important. Is that the right word? I mean, it's just incredibly close, isn't it? And by my calculations, four players can still qualify. Unbelievable. I mean, unprecedented. You would know more than I would when it comes to statistics of Group A, but a fantastic campaign. 
Right, let's have a look. This is what we've seen so far today. These are the results from the first four rounds worth of fixtures. Before the break, we saw Scott Winder pick off a big, big shock result, getting the better of Tipa Tracol by four legs to three. Prior to that, Barry Van Peer got the better of Jerry Hendricks by four legs to one, and Robert Thornton getting the better of Adam Hunt by that same scoreline. But that could be a big result. We talk about spoilers all the time here at the Super Series, how every game has got some influence on it. Every player's always got an influence on it. Scott Winder won his first game of the week against Barry Van Pier was on a losing streak ever since and has just picked up a big victory which could end up being a bigger defeat for Thibault. Yeah, I mean, Thibaut can still qualify incredibly. I mean, that's a, a statistic which, like I said, there's so many connotations just to go. Maybe he's just getting the next games up and going. But Scott Winder never once looked disheartened. He had a big smile on his face. And we did say this morning he had a potential of a real good game in him. Could have and should have won that game bigger. But what a fantastic last leg. And I'm really pleased for him because he didn't let his head go down and he's just loving the experience. And then, obviously, prior to that, we then saw big results as far as Robert Fordson was concerned against Adam Hunt. And that's kept everything on because Adam wins that. You sense it could have been over. Yeah, I mean, it, it could have. And Adam will be a bit of a thinker. He'll know exactly what the situation is. But fair play to Thornton. He hasn't been anywhere near his best. And, you know, and he's a game away from qualification. That's how good the man is. Been an un unbelievable grouper. And so when Tricol beats Bayer Van Pier, is he thinking game over? Well, Thibault's the only guy I really don't know as well. I'm, so I'm not sure if he's a real thinker, but he put himself in a fantastic position. And maybe he just expected to beat Scott Winder, but he played that spoiler role very, very nicely and made it very, very interesting. Well, this is the table then. This is what we all are looking forward to seeing because you cannot get it any tighter than that. Adam Hunt at the top of the pile on 20 points, but conceivably anything could happen as far as he's concerned. Robert Thornton on 18 points, Bay Van Pier 18 points, Thibaut Dracol on that same figure as well. And maybe there was a point during the day where Robert Thornton was just slowly but quietly brimming underneath the surface and has now very much come to the forefront. And the fact that the four players play each other in those final round of fixtures, it's going to create carnage. Yeah, but let's look at one statistic. If Adam Hunt wins this game, he's qualified. So that's the main thing for Adam. I mean, that's all he'd be thinking about because he's a, he's a winner, Adam. He won't want to get there on a on a you know someone else losing rather than him winning. His focus will be on beating Barry Van Pia. But after that, whew, God, we have got the calculator out downstairs and we'll keep everyone up to date as it goes along. Barry's been used to a lot of big games this year. He's been to a lot of finals. He's won a lot of finals. How much can big game experience help right now? Yeah, he's an unbelievable player. But is he saving his best for the Moda Super Series? Maybe saving it for the best for the very last game of the all. But he needs a big win against Adam as well, a big 4-0, 4-1 victory if he's going to qualify as well. Um, I'd be keen to find out why he thinks, you know, his assessment of the Group A campaign, but he is a brilliant, a brilliant player and can turn it on and has turned it on, but not in long enough periods for me. Looking forward to it? It's just been a brilliant uh, campaign. The group has been excellent. It was a brilliant group, six players and it's delivered. Well, it is very, very tight in the hunt for that first place through to finals night on Saturday evening. We kick off with Adam Hunt against Bay Van Pier in the final round of fixtures. Glenn's going to go downstairs and join Chris Murphy for all of the action. Yeah, and it is a real grandstand finish, a thrilling finale to Group A, and it kicks off with this meeting between Barry Van Peer of the Netherlands and the North East player Adam Hunt. Now, as Glenn and Henry said, if Hunt wins this, he wins the group. It's all over. Barry Van Peer, though, well, he needs to think a little bit more about the maths here. He has to win 4-1 or 4-0 to have any chance of topping the table. And then it would come down to the match between Robert Thornton and Thibaut Tricol to decide which one of that trio were first to win leg the group. Barry to throw first. Game on. Any other kind of victory for Barry? 4-2 or 4-3 would leave Adam Hunt at the top of the table, but still with a chance for Tricol or Thornton 47. to dislodge him. So we will keep you across all that, but this fixture itself, either a win for Adam Hunt, one and it's over, or a four-one or four-nil win for Barry Van Pier. One hundred and forty. He would be in provisional pole position. Well, that keeps it simple anyway. 
because there's just so much going right, on right five. now that the most important stat that Adam Hunt will be thinking, if I win this game, I've qualified because that's the type of personality Adam Hunt's got. 60. He doesn't want to get it on default. He just wants to get up there, put a real marker performance against a tough player in Berry. I still think the best of Berry Van P is still to come. And it potentially 59. could be now. Albeit a pretty fairly slow start from both. Ninety-eight. Fifty-nine. Very the one five six for the first leg, the first job. Remember, he needs to win this one handsomely. Perry Van Peer. One hundred. Adam Hunt can only pressurise the throw here. He really needs to win. It's strange, because knowing he will 60. win. Very required, 56. Or will still be top. Even if he loses marginally, isn't enough, because he knows Thornton and the tree color playing Game each other. on the first leg. Very yeah, Van I don't know about you, Chris, but I saw Adam sort of breathing heavily. There, yeah, you can see him doing it now. Boy, is he feeling it. Whereas Barry doesn't first. seem to have that type Game of personality on. to... To demonstrate them that anxiety, that nerves. Maybe the fact is because he sat in second, third place. But Adam has just shown 43. signs there that he's just feeling it. If he can somehow relax, easier said than done. Really needs to attack that. 100. Very vampire because of that sloppy start from Adam Hunt. Oh, it's getting very scrappy, isn't it? Yeah, that was a tough first start to watch there. 40. Like I said, it's his first start, which starts the routine from the second and third are pretty effortless. But first half just looked difficult, that first start, whereas Berry, albeit be a 45, he just looks more comfortable. That's a better first start, much better. And a bedfellow. 140. And a ton 40 just to get himself back in the, the box seat in this leg. And then it would leave Barry Vampire with no margin 44. for error if Adam Hunt were to level this match. Yeah, spot on, Chris. And I like that dart too. And I would expect a treble with a second. 140. And my favourite dart of them three, Billy, if not, was the first one. It was just so smooth. And that just allowed the second and third, but... Excellent board management again from Barry Van Tia. Excellent. Well, he's going to get a go at the 167 by virtue of that decision 58. to utilise the middle of the board. Yeah, and the reason people do have good board, but they give themselves an opportunity. Like it might be a 1 in 50 shot, this 167, but he's given himself an opportunity. 131. And he sets it and up perfectly, forcing Adam Hunt now into action. If Berry gets this break here, he's on course for the win that he needs, and Adam Hunt has missed the 40. big number, deflected off the dart in the 20. Yeah, I think he should have just widened the Barry angle, just moved to the right-hand side of the hockey touch, but I just don't think he's 100% thinking right now. It's the pressure of the situation. One man who is thinking is Berry. This is very normal of what he does. Game shot on the Perfect. second leg. Barry, Barry Van Peer gets the break he needed. Now, he's throwing for 3-0. Remember, he needed to win 4-1 or 4-0 like to Barry go top to of the table. First. Game on. Adam Hunt keeps stony face, keeping it all inside. But if Van Peer holds, all he has to do is hold again. 58. So looking for a defence for Adam right now. Sometimes when you go 2-0 down, it's like a... Being in a boxing ring and you've been punched on the nose, maybe that tension and nerves now gone. Now he can start relaxing and throwing his darts better. And albeit only 97, for me, that was his best three darts. It looked much more rhythmical. But when you give this guy a 2 0 start, it's tough because he just looks in the mood, doesn't 99. he? 99. Fifty-nine. 
fantastic camera angle that one. Just you can just see everything what the players are seeing. Sixty. The eye line of the player. Look at that. You have dreams and aspirations of being up here. Right, smack bang. That's what you will see. One hundred and eighty. Tell you what, that last dart was so quick. Ricky Evans just texted and said, "Boy, that was quick." One hundred and forty. Just the reactions from every score, the, the fist pumps, the nod of appreciation. They know the importance. 57. Very required, 144. Neither of the staggering averages, but it's a great game to watch as a spectacle. 79 left, even the 19 alone. And the treble is the bonus. Adam Hunt, this is your biggest finish of the week. Still do it. Bullseye. 83. Very required, 22. Centre of the board, but your only fear at this point is hitting the big 11. So how aggressive first start? Game's on the Very, because not only is that Very in, Van that is bang in the middle. Really, really important moments well, here. Barry Van Tia really had to win this game. 4 0, 4 1. It's job done so far. He's 3 0 up. Adam on every single leg count right now. Look at the steely Aye, focus in the eyes of Adam Hunt, but it's not going well. 56. Just the first moments of a trebleous visit from Barry. Adam Hunt is a fighter. One hundred. Any nerves he had, there's no blowing the cheeks out now. He's feeling much better himself. Frustrated that he's 3 0 down, maybe. Now it's Berry's time to show a little bit of vulnerability. That's what we're playing for. 56. Well, Adam Hunt in big, big bother here. He's, he's basically led this group most of the time, Glenn. And he's going to drop off at right at the wrong time. And if Berry does go on and, and win this 4 nil, then Adam Hunt will be feeling really bruised. 76. He will still make it, of course, 84. into Group B because Treacott and Thornton, only one of them can get to 20. But it looks like 4-1 is the most likely scoreline now. And we've seen in the last game that I mean, the small steps lead to greater journeys. Absolutely. Just little things are happening right now. And even when you don't want the bullseye. 63. Well, that's a big, big seven there. Because it was thrown at such a pace. A little bit of frustration there. But every leg counts for Adam. He needs to know that. 83. He's still the one that can eight. win the group in this match. Barry Vampire can't do that. Four. But now it's suddenly they out of Adam's hands. He has to wait five. and watch and hope that Van Pier misses this. It's a disaster for the hunter, but a big opportunity for Van Pier. The target was a 4 0 victory. A lot to ask against the top of the table, Hunt. He's two darts away. He's one dart away. 89. Width of the wire. Chance four. reprieve for Adam Hunt. Double two. No more messing around with the doubles, he's thinking. And where the dart sits, this is a big ask. Double one. No score. By my maths, a 4-0 win 16. would mean that Thibaut Treacle couldn't win the group. It would only be Robert Thornton in the next game that could win it. So Barry Vampire to put himself in pole position. Double two. And he 14. fails to find it as well. All these darts four. have something at stake for all four players in this fight. Absolutely spot on, Chris. That's exactly what I was thinking. A wry smile there from Adam Hunt. I wonder if he knows the importance of this leg. Oh. No score. Wrong bed. Very required, two. And that might put his hopes to bed. Along with the hopes of Thibaut Treacle. Yeah, 
great camera angle just to show what Adam's going through, but it's all about Berry Van Peer now. Game the target was 4-0. It was a little bit messy Barry at the Van end. You Pee. have to feel for Adam Hunt. It was a brilliant Group A campaign, but he faltered just right at the end. It's Berry Van Peer who's in pole position right now. And out goes Adam Hunt and Tebo to call, but it's Robert Thornton who has the opportunity still to top the group. And he's up next in another massive game against the Frenchman Tebo to call. Welcome back to the Boda Super Series where Berry Van Peer has beaten Adam Hump by four legs to nil. The man who'd been pretty much setting the pace the whole way through, completed the card on Monday right at the very line, has found himself out of the qualification spaces. And because of the margin of victory, there's now only two players left in the race for first place. And it all comes down to this match. Robert Thornton, victory here. He's into Saturday night. Once again, it'll be the eighth time on the spin that he's done that. A victory for Thibaut Tricol will send Barry Van Peer in to Saturday night's final. Right, let's get into this one. Glenn Durant, Chris Murphy. Yeah, thank you, Henry. Well, this is remarkable. Robert Thornton has not been top of this table at any point, but a man who is known for his tungsten tenacity, his darting doggedness, could tip the rest of the players at the post take the group victory and book his place at Saturday's finals night. But there is more to it than that. Thornton will either win this group and have a couple of days off and play on Saturday first, night or to throw he'll return tomorrow Game afternoon on. and play in Group C, having finished fourth in the table. You couldn't make it up, Glenn. Yeah, when you told me that stat off air, stand back in amusement. I couldn't believe that. That must be a, that must be a first. And we've pretty much seen everything in Group A, so it wouldn't surprise me if Robert Thornton ends up in Group C and Thibaut has the game of his life because we've been right in the conclusions to this Group A all day, and not many of them have come right. Yeah, well, the 4-0 win for Barry Van Peer not only wiped out his opponent, Adam Hunt, but it took Thibaut Treacle with him. He now can't top the table, but he can get into Group B with 47. a victory, and that would hand the group win to the bookies' favourite, Barry Van Peer. A win for Robert Thornton, and he tops the table, no matter the margin. 100. So you would think Tebow's playing with a little bit of freedom, a little bit of frustration that he can't top the group. And if Robert does know that a win here, which he does know because... 85. When we're walking through, we hear, you can hear them talking about the situation. Maybe then he'll tighten up like Adam Hunt did. And how much of a... 
a Game disaster was that defeat to Tebow Scott Wine for Thibaut Treacle. It could have been very much in his hands here. But that's a brilliant start for the Frenchman. A dozen darts, Second a 140, 140, 100, Game. and a 1 2 1 finish. Yeah, but would T Trickall have opened up with a 12 dart? It's funny what nerves and tension can do to a dart player. I think hey, we can all still play darts when we're super relaxed and super enjoyed. But you put yourself in the situation that Robert Thornton's in now, Adam Hunt was in previously, and you just your body tightens up, Chris. It's hard to explain, and you're fighting with yourself 60. not to be tight. Having said that, Glenn, no, I. I'm certain Robert Thornton knows that if he wins this game, he wins the group. I wouldn't be certain that Thibaut Treacle knows that he can't. He, he knows he can get to 20 points. Has he had to look deep enough into the leg difference to see that it's a gap too wide for him to bridge? Yeah, we've seen players walk up the stage thinking they haven't done enough to be told of one groups and it could be a scenario where Tebow wins here who thinks he's qualified and hasn't. It's all happening. Matt Clark was once halfway back towards his car. It took him two and a half hours to... 100. <laughs> yeah, thinking he was out. It needed a certain result. I think it was a 4-0 win for Colin Monk. And he did win 4-0. Took out 1-5-6. 168. Or against Colin Monk, sorry. But he thought he was out whatever happened, and he ended up getting through. Third place in Group B. Winning his week. Getting to finals night. Getting to the final. On Champions Week. 130. Robbie, can hear the score of 168. Well, that was the score. Treble 15. Can't do it. And that 130 89. score from Tricol, the Frenchman. Is 71. Some a chance of 71. They look at treble 13. Or a big 18. And this is for a 2 0 lead. 51. Remember Robbie that moment. 16. Double eight. Game remember that one. Second leg. Robert Thornton will. Robert Thornton. And remember the scenario for him. He either tops the table or goes into Group C. Thibaut Treacle, it's either C or B. Adam Hunt knows he's in B, and Barry Van Pier will either top the table or go into Group B. 100. A reminder that we do have double sessions of darts on Thursday and Friday. The action getting underway from 1pm on the Motor Super Series YouTube channel. And live on Sporty Stuff TV from 3 26. He hasn't thrown darts like that in this match, table. But just a little opening for Robert Thornton. Yeah, and again, it, it just seems to happen. Robert threw 30, and then Tebow replied with 26. One hundred. Forty. Sixty. Yeah, this is finely poised. Robert Thornton has all the tenacity, all the experience, all the nous, all the knowledge. And that's what he does. Timing. Well, Trickle's pretty much still in control. He certainly is now. Thornton needs all of that fight that Glenn just mentioned, all of that experience. All of that will to win. 85. Team win requires 75. Not the easiest out. Start with treble 17. And that tr transition from 18 to tops. Game shot in the successful third before for Tebow. Tebow is Trinkle. again. Robert Thornton knows he's in a fight, and this is just very typical of how this group here has gone. Fourth leg, it's Robert to throw. He's never going to go straight forward with this match for Game Robert on. Thornton. He's still in it because it's going with throw. What happens next, Chris? Well, what has been impressive for me is in the midst of this madness, in the middle of this real 45. darting duress that we've only seen one dart missed at double in such a key game. Yeah, it's a thought for me that uh, 
Robert Thornton is going to be playing in Group C if he loses this game. I'm looking at the in-play table right now. Forty-six. Yeah, Robert sitting in fourth place as it stands. But if he wins the game, he will top the lot. And there is one game left to play, but that won't affect anything. One hundred. In terms of which group players qualify in. Scott Winder against Jerry Hendricks. Slight subplot, Glenn. If Winder... 60. ...ends his Group A campaign with a 4-0 win, he'll actually finish fifth and not bottom. 140. Yeah, the fact that they're playing again tomorrow, so there he is. Bragging right, as we stated earlier. But for me, it's all about this game right now. And it's Trick Hall. 100. Who is taking control. 100. There's going to be a couple of bruised players in that Group B. There's going to be a bruised player in Group C, 100. but they're going to be a big favourite to win it. Yeah. Whether it is Robert Thornton or Thibaut Trico, they're going to be favourite to win that group, no doubt. Yeah, I'm actually sat thinking, I think, even though of all the two from six, three yeah, from five scenarios 16. between Group B and C, Group C is not a bad place to be, looking at the players coming in. Well, thinking about if Thornton wins this, Barry Van Peer and Adam 92. Hunt would be, would be they're going to be really frustrated because they've held that top spot. Robert Thornton hasn't at no point this week. He could sneak in at the end, but it's going to become harder if Tree Cole breaks his throw here. 70. The most Quiet, important 24. three darts of this whole group here. 100. Game shot on the fourth wow. leg. That will Team hurt Robert Trico. Thornton. He didn't watch any dart going in. I was just thinking he's been had opportunities. I thought the story and the conclusion, the ending was going to be reversed. Robert Thornton never at the top until the final dart. But right now, it's looking very, very good for Barry Van Peer. 99. Well, every great escape artist always has some kind of encore trick up their sleeve. 96. Here's Robert Thornton tied up in the sack, pretending he can't find the keys at the moment. Well, he needs a real Houdini act right now because this guy just looks really solid. I think he's 16. playing. I think he knows the scenario. I think he's just playing with a little bit of freedom. Whereas that man is just. He's not. It was interesting. It was Treacle and. Hey, Adam Hunt that came in tied top of the table. But when it's come down to the death, it's not those two that are fighting it out. It's Thornton and Van Peer. 41. Yeah, we were chatting yesterday afterwards. Who do we think will, will win it? And we felt it was either going to be Van Peer or Hunt. Not one mention of this man. 55. I mean, it happens quite often here, doesn't it, the Super Series, where you've got a game between two players, but really it's a game between one of the players on the stage and one that's still in the practice room. And that's how Barry Van Peer will feel at the no, moment. He's basically five. sent Thibaut Treacle out to bat for him. Oh, Robert Thornton won't roll over. It's a couple of breaks needed, isn't it, for Thornton? 41. Oh boy, does he want to hear 1 2 7 and game? It's on. Right, doesn't have to go for ball, and he, he was about to. He was about to. He'll go for a 10. 87. Checked the tree cold score and saw he wasn't on a finish, so he was giving himself three darts at his favourite double. 83. Robbie require 40. Top cent. That's Game exactly what he wanted leg. and exactly where he Robert wanted it. Thornton. And now Thornton is throwing to force a dramatic deciding leg. Yeah, are we going down to the Robert final to leg, first. the wire? Game first on. of all, he has to hold his throat because his mind potentially could be on a final leg. He's just getting his thoughts together. He'd be really annoyed with that. The first dart looked plumb. 70. Another Pretty sour taste in his mouth after the next two. I think it was a sour taste in his mouth. 
And then this man is playing with a real treacle heart. Things getting sticky for the Scotsman again. 100. Remember, Treacle still does have that second prize to play for. If he wins the game, he's in Group B. There are three players going through to finals night from five in that group. 121. Well, that is unlucky. I think he thought that was a 180. Sixty. Or one, two, one. But one Tebow three call, but Robert Thornton's applied maximum pressure. That is an incredible, incredible setup shot. That's why he's won what he's won. But it's bullseye for the match. Seventy-two. Robbie required right, thirty-six. Then, Robert, to take it to the death. Game oh, he's done it. Flares. How does he do Robert it? Robert Thornton. He had absolutely no chance of topping this group at times. Seven from final In leg this match, it looked like first. he had absolutely no chance, but he somehow forced it to a final leg. The Scotsman now will play one leg of darts to either top the table, win the group, go through to Saturday and play at finals night, or return tomorrow afternoon in Group C, having finished fourth in Group A, despite winning more legs than anybody else in the group. You knock him down and he just bounces back up, even the 140 start there 45. from Tebow. No reaction at all from Robert Thornton, and then two treble 19s, and then a mistake from the Frenchman. Here comes Thornton. Hey, T1. This has been one of the most captivating climaxes that we've had in Group A. Usually the drama is delayed for Fridays and Saturdays, but we've had it all. Whoa! And he gets them all. And remember the 136 he took out against Berry Van Pier that stopped Berry going through. To be the card yesterday, and then he did it himself. Well, now a one three six could actually save Barry Van Pier. Not going to happen. Oh, we built it up, didn't we? Well, what's happening here? Twenty. That is it. The game was over. The game was absolutely yes. Just look at Tebow. He knows. <laughs> He's basically been out of the race, out of the match. And then out of the leg. 89. To be required. But he's managed to maybe get himself back in the picture again. Unless. Unless Tebow Treacle hits Robert Thornton's favourite double, which he can't. Surely not, Glenn. Surely not. The highest finish of the week. 1-4-2 from Jerry Hendricks. Can Robert Thornton match it? Well, it won't be a big finish that brings an end to the darting drama here at the Super Series. In this gripping group. 46. Will it be missed doubles or will it be a missed opportunity for Robert Thornton? Go Tebow Treacle takes it match. and in Tebow doing so Tricol. condemns Robert Thornton to Group C and crowns Barry Van Pier as the Group A winner. Robert Thornton disappears quickly. He had his opportunity, but it's Treacle who takes the match. A good performance, really, for the Frenchman. Thornton didn't miss a dart at double, but crucially, in that last leg, didn't get one. And instead of finishing first, the Thorn finishes fourth. We do have one more game to come. It's to see who finishes bottom of the table, but confirmation that Berry Van Pier has finished top.
Welcome back to the Moto Super Series. We're joined up here on the balcony by a relieved Barry Vampire. Many, many congratulations. Group A winner. Just talk about what the last 10 minutes were like in that back room. Uh, probably full of heart attacks and stress, for sure. Uh, I had I had to have uh, Thibaut to win. Uh, if Robert would have won any score, I would have not been through. Um, so I was shouting for Thibaut, but I also wanted Robert to win because it's been a very good group and uh, it's been very tough. And uh, fair play to both. Um, I'm just really, really happy because I really thought I was out of the group. Mm -hmm. You know, I was out of the chances until like the last two games. I was like, oh, I'm actually out. And then I was like, hmm. I can actually still go through, and I just got a little bit lucky at the end, of course, but yeah. Considering that you thought that you were out of it, when you realized mathematically you could still qualify, can you just take it as a free hit because you didn't expect to be in that position? Um, well, yes and no. Um, it's hard to motivate yourself after you kind of felt like you're out. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end, I was like, okay, well, I know I'm, if my scoring goes well, I actually can win two games. I want to win games. Two games, sorry, Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I was like, okay, if I beat Jerry, it's one more game against Adam, and maybe if I win that with a good result, I might have a good chance, and that's what I did, and I had to hope for other results, of course, but there was a chance, so motivation was good. And how much resilience did you show as well in those last couple of games? Because when you had that middle of the day and you had a little bit of a rocky patch, it could have been so easy for, for things to go wrong, it could have been so easy for, you, for your head to dip. How much resilience did you have to show to then claw those victories and then obviously get the group win? Um, I really have to fight for my troubles. I've, it's been so rough on me, actually. When it's going, it's going. But trouble 20, I, I feel like if we have a heat map on this board, mm -hmm. I'll be the closest to every treble, I feel. Uh, that doesn't go in. Um, very frustrating, but you have to keep your head good, and uh, I feel like I've calmed myself enough down to, to have it on my side eventually, and doubles were also good actually this week, so I'm, I'm happy. Graphics, heat maps, there's, there's one for the department backstage four. Uh, let's go into Saturday then, because back at the Saturday night, you, you always tend to make it through to Saturday here at the Super Series. Back through Group A, of course, once again. What's the next couple of days going to entail for you? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, uh, it's just going to be relaxing. I'll find a board to play on a little bit. Um, support Jerry, of course. We're sharing an apartment, so it's very nice f to support him as well. Of course, I want everyone in this group to get through to Saturday. Um, I'll just be relaxing, going some shopping maybe. some mm. just, just really relaxing a lot. Uh, I kind of needed it, actually. Even just not here, just also at work. And so, so it would be, would be nice for me to just have no darts mm -hmm. for two days. And just finally, uh, about yourself, obviously you're approaching the autumn, you're doing very well on the Challenge Tour Order of Merit. We don't know how many more times we're going to see you here at the Super Series, Barry, all being well with your tour card race. How much would you like to finish off your campaign here at the Super Series if you were successful in those endeavours with a Super Series title under your belt? Uh, I would prefer to win this week and then maybe do well in the Champions Week. Uh, last time I played uh, Luke in the semis, mm -hmm. I had a chance to go 3-1 up. I didn't, and then he just played two fantastic legs and uh, fair play to him, yeah. won again. Uh, so I kind of won my rematch, um, maybe not just against Luke, but just for myself to mm -hmm. maybe get to the final of Champions Week and maybe win it. Uh, of course, I still have to win this week, and uh, if I don't win this, I might actually never come here again, I hopefully. <laughs> Sounds really bad, but... Obviously, you want to get it. your tour cards. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the only issue, I think. So, uh, But I, I've enjoyed it many times here, mm -hmm. so um, I'll just have to see. Well, it's always a pleasure watching you, Bear. We're going to watch you once again on Saturday night. Many, many congratulations. Now, I'll let you go off and rest now because I think you need it after the last couple of days. One more game for us to go then in Group A is Jerry Hendricks against Scott Winder. And watching this one in the commentary box, Glenn Darren and Chris Murphy. Yeah, thank you very much, Henry. And another beautiful insight of an interview there. He speaks very, very well, does Berry. And I was nodding my head throughout. Apart from the fact that he says, I hope he doesn't come back here, but I think he meant it in a good way. But what a sensational group. It, yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to get over what's going on. I mean, Van Pia gets through at one moment. It looked like Thornton. For him to be in Group C, incredible. Like Adam Hunt being to top first. throughout. Game the Tebow that lost to Scott Winder, who's playing now. And if Scott Winder can beat this man in your picture, Jerry Hendricks 4-0, he will come off the basement and finish his campaign in fifth place. But... Jerry Hendricks had a horrendous start to the day and has gradually got better. Decent start from both of them. Now, let's not forget that Berry Vampire as well actually started the day in fourth place in this group. 
has worked his way to the top of the table 96. after a real stellar showing. And if you cast your mind back to the interview that he did with me earlier today, he said, 90. his own words, I need to win four out of five to win the group. It's exactly what he did. He also had to rely on a bit of luck at the end when Thibaut Treacle beat Robert Thornton for him. 171. But Berry is a man true to his word and... It'll be good to see him on Saturday night, maybe at Champions 95. Week, and then, yes, we'll never see him 94. again, apparently. <laughs> then again, his English is so good. It's so much better than my Dutch anyway, so sometimes it gets lost in translation. But I think we understood he's off to be a professional player for a couple of years, at least. 74. Yeah, and we have the conveyor belt working both ways, of course, here at the Super Series. Players have done... Great stuff here, and then have gone and got the tour cards. We also get players dropping off Jerry the tour, McQuire, 20. playing on that stage. Jerry Hendricks looking to ensure that he doesn't finish bottom of the table. All he needs is one leg. Fifteen. It really could be trebles for sure, so doubles for door in this match between these two. The bullseye. 74. Jerry required five. Not near. And Hendricks can get the leg in the ledger. Remember, Winder needs a 4 0 win to shift the positions at the foot of the table. One. And he might yet get it. Scott, you require 47. Like buses, aren't they? Darts wins, Glenn. I don't know. Game shot on the first leg. <laughs> it's 1 0, Scott, Scott Winder. Winder. Yeah, you've never been on a bus. Didn't get one for a dozen so matches. Two Scott might come along at once for Scott Winder. And, and one of them was really significant, in fact, in the end when he beat Thibaut Trickle 4-3 because had that result been reversed and Trickle had won the last leg decider, then he would have topped the table, Glenn. Yeah, and part of me thinks there might have been a twist with him tightening up a little bit against Robert Thornton. So it's if Button maybe expected bounce out in this game. But not from Jerry. So both players destined for Group C this week. 85. Don't forget, you can tune into that from 1pm on the Moda Super Series YouTube channel. You can watch that around the world, live action. Exclusive 81. content, bonus content as well. Interviews with many of the names that have played here. Robert Thornton for one. 100. Great moments as well from the Super Series, including that. History making nine dart finish we had a few weeks ago from a certain Fallon Sherrick. One hundred and three on Sporty Stuff TV. And again at 10 pm for Group B, which will feature Thibaut Trickle and Adam Hunt 57. from this group. Along with Stu Wilson, Chaz Barstow, and Paul Hogan. Might be one of those weeks Glenn, where Group A provides the bulk of the drama. It's very rare. Yeah, and also the bulk of players on Saturday night as well. You still think we'll see pre Cole Hunt Thornton 96. on Saturday? Jerry Rockwell, 92. Yeah. yeah, I do, actually. Which probably means that none of them have got a chance now. <laughs> 72 for Hendricks. Is it double-double on the 18s? What about this pair? Is there a way back for one, of, the, one of these? I know you touched on Scott. I think Scott, believe it or not, out of the two of them, Jerry just seems to... I was hoping Jerry was going to play himself into the form that I know. Double 10. 48. The doubles for these Jerry two McCoy are the 40. thing that worries me. I think they'll match the other players who they're going to be playing with more. But I just don't have no confidence when it comes down to a double. Game shot on the second leg. Jerry Perfectly Hendricks. timed. Smack bang in the middle. As I said, they can't hit a double. I've done this before. So look, it's Jerry to throw first. Yeah, it's Game been on. a group where nothing has been certain apart from Glenn Durant getting everything wrong. Punditry at its finest. 83. 60. Forty-two. Yeah, just a little bit quiet right now. And Scott 
There's that type of fluke, and all of a sudden turn it on on the on the score. And it's just the consistency 39. with Scott Winder. I'd love to maybe have a chat with him next week and give him sort of things I've picked up. But I really like that throw from Jerry. I'm trying to work out why it's not happening. 60. Like I said, it looks very elegant. I like I like his throw. He uses his height well. Whereas this man, it's all about that rolling arm. Once that first one goes there, he gives himself opportunities and he does score big, but too many darts sort of has that lateral drift into the ones and fives for me. Forty. The winder. Looking to leave a finish. Fifty eight. Can't quite manage it, but he's still got the the jump on Jerry in this leg. Ninety-four. Three. One hundred. Sets him up for a, a one or four finish. Jerry going downstairs using the treble 19 to much effect. 129. Scott Options 104. here. Being quite common to go treble 16 on this, but he goes treble 18. 84. Price kind Jerry of bought that route in, 54. didn't he? Many players following it, the treble 16 route on 104. Yeah, if you're a tops player, it makes sense. And tops it is for Hendricks. That's a good guide. Scott's nodding. 34. And then he's so reacting in disgust 20. to his opponent's dart there. <laughs> he has a very expressive face, doesn't he, Scott Winder? Yes, just very fidgety, touchy-touchy, isn't he? He's just all Game over the place. The but third leg. He's leading Scott to one. Winder. And like I said, can he get two wins on the spin? Because it would be that foundation for his Group C campaign. He will, of course, finish at the foot of this table after Game Hendricks on. got a leg. On the board, even a 4-1 win wouldn't haul him off the bottom, but he would go level on point with Jerry Hendricks on six. 43. If you have just tuned in, then, well, that was a bit silly. You've missed all of the fun. But to recap the situation in the group, Berry Van Peer on 20 points, finished top of the table. Thibaut Tricot 100. on 20 points, finished second. And we're going to group B with third place Adam Hunt on 20 points. Robert Thornton... Could have been on 20 points and would have topped the table had he got there, but he's on 18 and we're going to Group C with this pair. I'm still shaking my head now. 134. Yeah, it was called a basement clash, this one, but being competitive, it's being tight. But it's this man in your picture who's just got the ascendancy. 134. When you think of the Moda Super Series, something that you touched on earlier, the fact that Berry is, you know, it might be the last time we see him. 40. In fact, I put you on the spot. If, if, when you think Moda Super Series and ask you for, to choose three players. Luke Little, obviously. 96. The man doesn't matter. I got, I got Usher. Well, I think just because he's won it twice, the whole thing has yeah. got to be up there. I mean, it would be easy to just list the winners, wouldn't it? But Raymond Smith has only played yeah. in that 45. one series. Got your Conan White, now he's back at Champions Week. He's, he sort of comes to mind. And I might have to say someone like... 95. Like Fallon Sherrick for, for what she did here recently, because that got more attention, let's be fair, than any any victory, didn't it? That, that nine-dart finish, history-making. 64. It's got Were you want me to say like Nicholson, Mason and Durant or something? Oh, just Durant. <laughs> Game shot number four. Three, one to wind it. Scott Winder. Nice little 17 data. Averaging over 80. Fifth leg, it's Jerry to throw so first. Jerry, try and keep this final game going. 140. He's had a shocker of a day, hasn't he, Jerry Hendricks? It started badly. His performances have gotten better, but the results haven't. 59. He's so close to Scott there as he's throwing the dart. I think he just wants the day to end and start again. Madness, he says. 85. 
56. Final game. 26. Almost feels like the warm up match has been put on in the wrong place today because the two key matches preceded it. I should just inform viewers that Glenn Durant has left the commentary box to go 96 and do his punditry thing at the end of the show with Henry Deacon. Now that means this game will go 4 3 because he's got everything wrong all week. 80. It means there's no way this match is going to finish at the end of this leg. And it won't if Hendricks can take out the big fish. 43. And I give you my personal guarantee that if he gets two treble 20s, he will throw at the bullseye. And it's a good guarantee to give because I didn't fancy him to hit the two treble 20s, to be honest. 48. I cannot be proved wrong. But only chipping off 48 just offers some optimism to his 77. opponent. 77. Jerry require 100. And now he leaves at 170. Treble 18. Well, he's gone for the 25. Missed it. 31. He's got your require 170. Making very slow progress here. Ninety. Jerry Raquan, ninety one. And Scott has actually wound up in front of him in the leg, but Jerry has the throw to claw a leg back. Double top. Fifty one. Scott you require eighty. No score. Jerry. Well that Raquan, kind of sums 40. it up. Getting closer, 20. but not close enough. And Winder, quite 80. having hit 80 in his previous visit, now wants the same score, but ending on a double. Well, it's not the treble this time. 60. Jerry Raquan, well, It was a 20. fair play. But Jerry Hendricks looking at double 10 to extend this encounter. Double 5, can't come inside with the start. Good guide, actually. 10. But can't use it. Scott, you're required 20. So, to finish with back to back victories Game and Winder wins a 4 1 success Scott against Winder. Jerry Hendricks. This pair will reunite tomorrow in Group C, but it's Winder who gets a victory in the final match of a really dramatic group. This duo didn't have much part in that. They're joined at the bottom. They go into Group C. The other player going into that group has finished 12 points ahead of them. That's Robert Thornton, Hunt Tree Cole going to Group B. Van Peer tops the table, but Scott Winder won his first match in the group and his last two. He signs off with a 4-1 win over Jerry Hendricks. Yeah, quite the book-ending job there as far as Scott Winder is concerned. Glenn Dowen has joined me up here on the balcony to assess what we have seen. Goodness me, we're going to need a while to assess all we've seen today because we thought yesterday was dramatic. Today ramped up a notch yeah wacky was the word i sort of just stood here thinking there because at one point i thought adam hunt had it then i thought robert thorpe was going to do this most amazing story then trickle became favorite and Barry Van P, I thought it was a great interview between the pair of you as well, just to get his understanding and the fact that he knew exactly what he needed to do. So we were chatting in comms about, I wonder if they know the permutations, the scenarios of what's going on. But in the end, it was a great day. Three, three players finishing on 20 points and that unbelievable statistic of a last leg for Thornton of either top in the group or Group C. Bizarre. We'll discuss it a little bit more in just a second, but let's give you the results that set us this scenario, this situ of chaos here at the live lounge. So 15 games been and gone. And in the end, it was Barry Van Peer who thought himself was actually out of the race, out of the running, who came out on top.
but when you win a lot of tournaments and you're at the, at the peak of your game, which it seems like Berry is right now, number one on the Challenge Tour de Mer, Dutch Open champion, one of the biggest events on the amateur calendar. When you're in that type of form and moments like that arise, surely you just see the winning line instead of any pressures. It's funny because when you're not winning games, Berry Van Peer does not win that competition today. But the fact he's used to winning now, sort of like you get a little bit of luck and, you know, just the way he was hitting them doubles. I mean, Adam Hunt in that match there, three out of three going into that game. He knew I, he had to beat either Barry Van Peer or Robert Thornton and just didn't get to the challenge in the end. And Van Peer just did what he needed to at the end. We'll talk about Barry a bit more in a second, but what on earth is Adam going to be feeling right now? Well, I know Adam's more than anybody out there and he will be desperately disappointed. He's someone who'll... He'll, he'll say to me, no, no, I'm fine, I'll, at least I'm in Group B, but I know inside he will be raging. I just felt at the end he tightened up, especially on that first dart as well. He's got a, a unique throw where replication isn't key for him. That first dart is just the beginning of the mechanism for that throw because the third dart is so effortless and I just felt he tightened up when he didn't need to. But I suppose the important thing now is to put it to the back of his mind ahead of a stint in Group B tomorrow night. And he will. The fact he's got that extra maybe 10 hours to, uh, to contemplate, he's got, you know, he's got good people around him, he's good family, etc. He'd be desperately disappointed and he's a type of player who loves to play darts and an extra couple of nights you know, might be good for him. He might once again get over that disappointment. I think he's just playing as well as I've seen him for 18 months. Well, this was the game that sealed it for Barry Van Peer. It was Thibaut Dracol getting the better of Robert Thornton. Robert, who has incredibly won more legs than any other player in the group, yet finished fourth. It was saying it was incredible. I loved every second of it. And that match reminded me of a man who was frustrated that he can't top the group against someone who knew a victory would. And again, Robert Thornton, despite everything that he's won, you know, he just tightened up a little bit himself. And Thibaut was just so free-flowing. But I thought it was going to be a real romantic story at the end because uh, fairy, t fairy tales do come true because Robert was never in this competition and he could have gone top with his final dart. And that's what we were writing as the conclusion. Robert Fulton in Group C, chaos. It's, I mean, it's not a bad group to be in. I mean, he's the headline act, but uh, I mean, there's, there's one or two players there, but I think, it'd be, I think it'd be fine. In fact, I think a couple of the guys going into Group B in, in, in Adam and Tebow will be fine in that group as well. But there's still some cracking players to come as well. And, you know, you want to get the job done and it's Barry Van Peer who can sit back and relax. You most certainly can. And he'll like the look of this table now, which we're going to bring on screen. Three players tied on 20 points at the end of 15 matches. They couldn't be separated. Bay Van Peer, top courtesy of legs difference. Robert Thornton finished on 18 points, and that is only good enough for an appearance in Group C. Whilst for Scott Winder, he won his last two matches, so him and Jerry Hendricks both tied on six points in the group. Let's talk about Barry Van Peer once again then, because amongst everything else that we spoke about up here on the balcony, this could be his last time here at the Super Series. He's got a massive margin of lead at the top of the challenge to order of merit. He's going to be playing at tournaments like the Grand Slam, you feel, should be playing at the World Championships, you feel, at the end of the year and maybe move on to the professional circuit from January. But you can tell that he wants this title. This is something that probably will finish off a set of amateur events. It didn't showcase to me that he, this is a real priority to him. I, I thought he was, a, you know, he lacked a little bit of something. I thought he was a little bit lacklustre on stage, a little bit moody, a little bit... You know, sometimes I just want him to maybe smile just a little bit because he's got a wonderful personality. He's a great guy. I thought the interview, as I said, sort of showcased that and, and let people know what he's all about. Uh, but he, he sort of comes across as fairly negative as, in his approach and he's got so much positivity about him. So I think there's an extra 5%, 10% still to come from Berry Van Peer, but an exceptional player. And despite not being at his best fully throughout that campaign, tops it in one of the hardest group years we've seen for a long time. And in terms of Saturday night, how would you rate his chances with the, obviously the players coming in and the players already know in this week? Favourite. I mean, he's there, he's topped that group and there's more gears to come. And with a crowd in here as well and the form that he's in, he'll be the favourite.
You most certainly will. Right, let's talk a little bit then about later on this week because tomorrow we're going to see a player that you know very well in Robert Grundy in Group C. Since we last saw him here, well, he's gone on to win his first Challenge Tour title of his career. And it's in the top 10 of the Challenge Tour Order of Merit in 2023 and is playing some amazing darts right now. Uh, in 2019, I was playing my best darts. I went over to the PDC and I was flying. And then one week they were short for Super League. I'm one of the best players. Everyone's talking about me. I go to a place in Hartlepool against a guy who can't afford to travel knew how good he was because he's beaten me over the years and absolutely destroyed me. And there's a Rob Grundy in every town and city in the UK. Now he's got a good sponsor, a good manager. He's now travelling about and he's now telling everybody how good he is because Rob Grundy is the real deal. He most certainly is. And then in Group B, Chaz Barstow. Now, we rax lyrical about him because we know the levels he's got. Last time he was here, he'd been working on his house and had family issues and was nowhere near his best. I'd be keen to ask and see how he performs. And uh, Paul Hogan as well, a guy who changed my life. I'm so, there's so much more to come from, but Chaz Barstow, at his best, can destroy anybody. It's going to be an interesting couple of days to come in Group B and Group C, and we're looking forward to it, aren't we? Absolutely. It was a fantastic way to end that group here. We, you know, you dream of moments in the comms box where you're down to that, and that statistic of being either top of the table or Group C, that will live in the memory. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Good. You don't have to see me for another 24 hours. Lucky Lovely you. Lovely jubbly. Right, we'll see you at one o'clock sharp tomorrow here on the, on the Moda Super Series YouTube channel. And then we're going to be on Sporty Stuff TV from three o'clock for the beginning of Group C. Well, as far as Group A was concerned, it was a bit of a roller coaster, wasn't it, Glenn? But it was Berry who was peerless. See you later.